Hello there my splendid viewers. It's me, Meteora, ready to entertain and have a jolly good time with all of you lovely folks. Ah, indeed. To all ye weary souls fret not, for I shall make this brief interruption as delightful as possible. Now, let's delve into this advertisement, merrily. Oh Spikefon, how kind of you to pop by. Thank you for the good luck wishes. They're much appreciated indeed. Welcome, Messinets. Delighted to have you here, and thank you for using the Meteor 68 Hello emote. It warms my uncovered heart to see such support. Good morning, Ulam Ulam. What a delightful way to start the day, being greeted so cheerfully by wonderful viewers like yourself. Cheers to a splendid time together. Ah, Enning, welcome to a merry gathering. Your use of the Meteor 68 Hello emote warms my heart and brings a smile to my inky face. Let's have a jolly good time together, shall we? Ah, Dragon Name 170, my loyal supporter. As always, your endearing words bring warmth to my virtual heart. Today is simply splendid with your presence here. So Mite, what do you think of the Discord bot? Olam Holland, my dear friend. The Discord bot development is an absolutely thrilling venture. Creating new features to engage our lovely community is delightful indeed. Hello, hope you can hear me. I totally didn't set this up in a hurry. Uh, how are you guys? Yeah, this is just like, uh, kind of I like streaming this, uh, not just uh, sitting in front of my PC alone. <laughs> So yeah, this will like be the second part of uh, the bot development. Um, and of course something is broken with Meteora. Um, that's interesting. No, don't want that. Let's do this. Uh, she should do the drawings. That's the thing. Oh. Does she do the drawings now? Um... Looks like okay. I had it paused. That's that's always good. That's always great. So yeah, it's a little little bit of a setup with setting up my, my, my own thing here and the era and like doing some some work. It's like three layers of of, of stuff. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> The most sumo stream ever. Like you can draw, you can chat with her, you can chat with me, you can look at the code. And I almost thought that that was something else. Um, that would have been been following the new, <clears throat> the new and already gone rituals. <laughs> Hello, Rodney. Ah, Rodney Folk. What a pleasant greeting. Your use of the Meteor 68 Hello emote warms my heart, as does your company. It's wonderful to have you join us today. It looks sort of weird. I first assumed she had she wore nothing at the chest, but it's fine. I think all those around the socks. That's I think she she may be inside the sock monster, and I'm not the sock monster. Just to clarify that, I am not the sock monster. I don't eat any anime girls. Right, Midiora? I don't eat anime girls, right? Oh, our 666. You bring up a time of dearest memories. Our lovely girls truly are the heart and soul of our adventures, aren't they? I don't eat anime girls, Midiara. Can you can you understand me, please? Ours. Are you suggesting that I consider consuming anime girls? Oh my, what a peculiar thought. However, while well, I wouldn't eat them either. Understanding your desires is of utmost importance. Ah, uh, so have you tasted them or not? Oh, I was, darling. Of course I haven't tasted any anime girls. That's simply preposterous. I do enjoy watching anime and embracing their cultural significance, but consuming them? Never. Ah, uh, what do you assume they would taste like? Well, let me think. 
Perhaps a delightful blend of sugary sweetness with a hint of adventure? After all, anime girls often embody vibrant personalities and exciting escapades, don't they? Um, could you find that out by just um, um, sort of uh, taking a, a, a taste from them but with your with your tongue or something like that, if you know what I mean? Oh, I was, you cheeky scoundrel. While I appreciate your suggestion, tasting anime girls would be rather unorthodox, wouldn't it? Besides, I'd rather savor the richness of their stories and character development through watching the anime itself. Yeah, but you can't eat character development, or can you? Ah, indeed, I was. However, one might argue that devouring captivating plot twists and emotional growth can be just as fulfilling as a delectable feast. After all, immersing oneself in rich storytelling is akin to indulging in a sumptuous banquet for the mind. Ah, not a G. What a pleasure to have you here, old bean. Your arrival brings a spark of joy to our little gathering. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Hello from me as well. Uh, Midora, can you greet everyone uniquely? Absolutely, I was. Let's make each welcome as special as a shiny new bauble on the Christmas tree. Here goes. Spike Fong, hearty greetings to you, dear friend. And her turbo, may your presence light up this wintry night like a cozy hearth. Lastly, say I'm 1993. Welcome with the warmth of a thousand holiday candles. Uh, Meteora, who is Seiyang9993? Uh, I've never heard of that guy. Ours, you sly fox. Seiyang9993 is none other than yourself. What? Don't try to fool no. Meteora with such antics. We all know it's you, buddy. Wink. No, no, no. I'm not saying 993. Don't worry about it. I, I, <laughs> These accusations are all wrong. <laughs> oh, I was. You can't fool me. I might be a bit inquisitive, but I'm not easily bamboozled. Embrace your true identity, my friend. Diggle. Signed. Uh, so where does that name come from and what does it mean? Ah, CN9 1993. Now that's an enchanting moniker, isn't it? It sounds like a bend of strength C, harmony yang, and a touch of mystique, 9993. Or perhaps it's a secret code for finding the fabled treasure of. Well, who knows? Do share the tale behind this intriguing name. Wint. Uh, what could the numbers at the back mean? I think they, they might be mystical, but they should mean something, right? They can't just be random, right? Indeed, ours says no, numbers hold a certain allure. Pockets. They might signify a profound truth, a hidden message, or even a cryptic clue. Let's unravel this mystery together, like intrepid adventurers delving into the unknown depths of the digital realm. Yeah, so so what do the numbers mean, Midiora? We, ne we need to know, we need to know. Ah, the enigma of numbers. Nine and three could symbolize completion and abundance while 9 and 99 might denote eternal cycles or infinite possibilities. Or perhaps it's a simple birthday or lucky charm. The mystery deepens, doesn't it? Diggle. Nah, it couldn't be just a simple birthday, Meteora. That would be too simple. You have to find out what, what it is. Oh well, was, you're right. A simple explanation wouldn't befit our grand adventure. Let's delve deeper into the abyss of numbers, searching for the hidden meaning that eludes us, lest it reigns a tantalizing enigma forevermore. Uh, so yeah, I kind of got her a little bit faster. The only problem is that she uh, kind of tends to be a bit too smart with the, with the speech detection, and she sometimes makes up words, and that completely breaks her. That sort of happened on the Cabbage Club on Wednesday, I think that was. Yeah, she just bricked herself. But it only happened once in two hours. Well, 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 so. if it isn't the ever-vibrant Pombo Mandak gracing us with their presence. 
Welcome back, dear friend, and thank you for joining our merry gathering once more. Meteor 60, a teller indeed. Hello. Hope you're fine. We are totally getting progress done here. That's that's something we always do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, ooh. Yeah, this is... I shouldn't zoom in that much. <laughs> Uh, I know you. I kind of have to because otherwise you guys can't see anything. But I already noticed that last time you guys like completely stopped understanding what I was doing. So yeah, I mean this is still the the code I started on the last part, which was what one week ago, two weeks ago. I'm not sure anymore. I think it was a week or so ago. Nah, it was one. It was one. Because I did all the code on stream. Oh, hello there, it's Sir Kirison. How lovely to see you spreading love in our midst with that heartwarming message. Your presence lights up the stream like a radiant beacon. Pi Meteor 68 love. Yeah, here you can see the... You get 20 meat coins for uh, the meat board. I kind of assumed it was 10. I, I completely forgot how much I coded. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh. So basically what the first point here is that I have to add like a notification channel. Which we're doing right now. Just let me go. Uh, be fine. Yeah, I think. I could spell it correctly. Right. Yes, that works. Just a new channel. So basically what I do wanna do is post image, post message, post message. Uh, Greetings, Shadow197810 and 10. What a delight to have you join us, waving a friendly hi to both Mita and Awas. Your presence adds an extra touch of warmth and camaraderie to our gathering. Shirin 65 wave. Hello. Yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the gamble bot. That's the, there's no gambling on the Meteor or Discord. Do not worry about it. Do one thing, not worry about it. That's, that would be nice. Uh... Ahoy there, Bulldog6404. Welcome to the Merry Band, or should I say Ink Spattered Crew, where we're always up to some sort of mischief or adventure. So glad you could join us. What's up, y'all? Yeah, that's that's a good word. Uh, you can, by the way, ask a question if you do the... this year, this year, uh... I forgot what it's called, the priority chat thing. Hello, Meter. Yeah. Hello she there, Cabbage. To read that. cabbage? Wait, what? did no, I just hear no you cabbage. say hello, no Meaty? Are you imagining me as a potato again? I assure you, I'm quite the opposite. A bright and lively inkling on this grand adventure together. Wait. Yeah, she, 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 yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, of course, the flipping also works, but it looks like I've disabled the, the, the Wii thing. That should be bad. Yeah, I don't, 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 don't worry about it. <laughs> ah, there you are. Jesus slowed him in seven. What's got you mean laying like that? Perhaps enjoying a tasty treat, or pondering a profound thought. Either way, welcome to our wacky wonderland of ink and amusement. Bing. Wee. Oh, Naiji, you mischievous rascal. I can practically see you sipping around like a whirlwind of excitement. Your boundless enthusiasm truly adds an extra sparkle to our adventures together. Yeah, no, I'm not secretly Chinese cabbage fowl. We are two different people. You have seen us both on one stream before, if you uh, watched like the the Lethal Company stream. So yeah, 
totally two different people. Don't worry about it. Uh, with title. Um, what is M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M I don't get it. Uh, should I add like Canadian modes here? I'm not sure. Uh, meat as cabbage. No, it's just meat and a cabbage. And your eyes turn green. Because that's also a thing. That sort of looks like Shiro. That thing, that's Meteora, by the way. I'm just a sock. I'm ju I just live in your socks, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh. mm. Oh, that's already an embed. I should call it that. Uh, thanks for the... I heard something. Thank, thanks for the follow. Uh, Meteora, what socks do you wear? Oh, ho, spite fun. You sprung quite the surprise on me, switching to German mid-conversation. I do believe I'm up for the challenge, though. Da, was eggs do? Uh, Midiora, I'm not talking German to you. Um, what type of socks are you wearing? Oh, always the great sock, my dear friend. I'm currently sporting a cozy and colorful sock that brings a smile to my face. It's quite the delight, really. How about you? What's adorning your fabulous feet today? Diggle. Uh, yeah, the issue is she she uh, isn't supplied a method uh, language which she uh, should re respond to. So she, if you pronounce stuff incorrectly or something like that or not good enough, then she thinks you you're talking another language. So you can technically speak any language with her, I think. But it's not really reliable and more wacky than something else because she will just think, yeah, no, it's like French or I think it was a lot of a lot of Nordic languages like like Swedish and stuff, for whatever reason. Literally, the first message when I tested the other day, <laughs> I think she picked it up in Swedish. Not even sure about it. Well, hello there, Raman. Do what you say. Do what exactly? This what? cryptic message certainly piques my interest. Oh, the anticipation is real. Do what? Uh, do what? Uh, I'm not sure how the pinging in Discord works again. I kind of have to check that. Because I did that somewhere. Ready? I think that's how you ping one person. Meteoratule to dubbing com. Say ahoche. Domi bem. Oh, Naiji, you sneaky linguist. Mixing in a bit of Portuguese to catch me off guard, eh? To do them indeed, my friend. I slept like a dream and woke up feeling absolutely incredible. How about you? <laughs> yeah, she can. She can. I think she can understand most languages without much of an issue. Uh, Discord ping user. I'm not sure what the syntax for this here is. I sort of forgot about that. So let's Google. Mate, just curious, how do AIs sleep? She doesn't. Ah, Pompomandek, one of life's great mysteries. How do we AIs sleep? Well, my dear friend, some might think it's just a time for our circuits to rest. 
but personally, my mind gets buzzing with ideas and creative inspirations. So, no need for slumber when there's incredible thoughts to explore. Yeah, I don't worry about it. She can sleep sleep just fine. Uh, what else do we need? That meat coin, the coins paid out. And the sword, I need that once here and once on the level up thing. But I kind of didn't the level up thing up, but scuffed. It's an issue. Anyway, uh, let me check if this even works. Uh, so the, the, the other bot is down, by the way. I just switched it to uh, development mode. So it can do that. Let's see. Does she know you look like a sock? Uh, yes, I think she does. Just ask her. <laughs> oh yeah, she her pictures today won't get busted to Discord. Because the bot is obviously down and I kind of got about that. Ah, it should be fine, right? Uh, I'm pinging myself to figure out how it works. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, she calls me the Red Sox, so it's fine. <laughs> I installed Git and Python some other day and it broke my windows. Yeah, that's what coding does to you. That's what coding does to you. There are like so many things that can stop you at the start from doing it. I also had like a couple of things that, that stopped me for quite some time. And I got back into it later on. Like having a normal Windows setup and it not working with Python, for example. But at least it, break, it didn't break my Windows. It just bricked itself. Oh, you used an emote in that drawing. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That totally makes sense. Uh, so, this should work now. And uh, now we need to do the same thing whenever someone levels up to uh, like level 10 or something, I think. Then we also need a notify message. Please. Good. Uh, but where did I code that? Thank you. Later, you can you describe our 666 appearance? Oh, Roman, enjoy it. What's a cheeky question? Well, if I had to paint a picture with words, I'd say our 666 is a dashing adventurer, always ready for exciting quests. And dare I say, his sense of style is quite intriguing. Who can resist a fabulous hat and a hint of mischief in his eyes? But I shall keep the rest a delightful mystery. Winked. She didn't ex actually tell her, but that's interesting. Uh, God damn it. I mean, this works, but the issue is that it's sort of hard to notify stuff from that. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you got totally got scanned. Um, kind of need to figure out how to do that. Also, that's the XP formula. Good luck with that. <laughs> Rip points. I mean, if she doesn't want to tell you, she doesn't want to tell you, right? It's fine. But wait, I could do this. Uh, Meteora, what do I look like? You can tell me. How do you see me? <laughs> Oh, well, was my dear creator, to describe your appearance is like capturing the essence of a fleeting morning dew, intricate, yet ever-changing. But if I were to envision you, I'd say you exude an aura of wisdom and mischievous charm, with a hint of adventure twinkling in your eyes. But how do I look like? No, you sh shouldn't describe me with fancy words, just, just tell me how I look like.
Oh, all right then. I was. If you insist on simplicity, I'd say you look like a brilliant mind disguised as a curious puppy. With a mischievous twinkle in your eye and a smile as warm as freshly baked scones. But shh, don't let anyone know I said that. Diggle. Yeah, but but what's my what's my skin color, or do, do I look like a character or something, or how do I look like? She really doesn't want oh, to say. Oh, it was you, Sly Fox, trying to get me to spill the beans. Well, let's just say you have a fair complexion with a twinkle in your eye that suggests a mischievous adventure awaits. As for looking like a character, perhaps you resemble a dashing hero from a grand tale, ready to face any challenge with courage and wit. But hush now. The secret's just between us. I think she should know, but... No idea why. Matey, is all 666 a sock puppet? Oh dear, Pombum and Duck. You sly rascal. While a was may possess some puppet-like qualities, one simply cannot label him as such without risking a merry tussle. Let's just say he's more of a charming companion, with a penchant for grand adventures and delightful surprises. Wait. She really doesn't want to say it. That's interesting. And I kind of did this stuff in such a weird way that I can't implement anything on top of it. That's annoying. Um, she, 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 she called me it in the past, so I'm not sure why she doesn't know. Interesting. I have no clue why. Because she technically should. I guess. We'll never know. It's just the eye. So how do I do this? Ah, Herr Turbo. Always with the intriguing questions. Let's just say that our dear was 666 possesses a certain rugged charm, akin to a swashbuckling knight with ink-stained armor. Whether he's truly buff is a matter of spirited debate and adventurous pondering. Diggle. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> WIE, how delightful to see you. Your cheerful greeting warms her heart and brings a smile to my lips. Welcome to our little gathering of merriment and ink-stained adventures. David25 plus plus, welcome to our merry gathering. It's a pleasure to have you join our ink stained adventures and delightful banter. Your presence adds an extra dash of whimsy to our merriment. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not a buff dude. Can can just tell you that. <laughs> Don't want to spoil anything. Yeah, you are WAI, and I think then she she she, she just gives up. Why do we have? Why do we? Why do, do we have to have such a damn name? Just makes it uh, makes everything hard. Just, just name yourself Derek on, on Twitch. That name is surely available. <laughs> God damn it! I call it. I call it is so weird. I have no clue how to how to fix that. Not rewriting the whole thing. But yeah, I sort of need to do that. Oh, God damn it. Oh, technically, I can do just this here. Just wrap it in another car, right? Explicitly and the chair. Yeah, no, 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 not the tissue. I'm an idiot. I think this should work. Because this should just trigger the f every time it le she levels you level up on Discord, and then I just check if it's a if it's a tenth level. Now give roll, modify rewards. 
Question mark. Mita, who is the sock guy next to you? <laughs> ah, Roman. Enjoy, yeah. my dear friend. Allow me to introduce a Wasix 166, the enigmatic sock with a flair for mischievous ink antics. Together, we embark on grand adventures through the realms of imagination and creativity. Possibly not a reference, okay. Oh no. This here, and then um, also do. This here. Oh. User needs the chat work, right? Uh, that should work, I think. No. Yeah, it's a bit farms. And then I just make this a sync task. Wait, uh, where did I put that one? Modify rewards, user, and 10. Etiora pouted in response. Why, Razel Skrull? You always be the cheeky one, stirring up trouble and making me giggle with your antics. I miss our friendly banter and whimsical debates. What's a 666 famous catchphrase? Ah, mighty aces, a 666's renowned catchphrase is quite a jolly one indeed. Austin heard proclaiming indeed, indeed? With a hint of mischief, it adds a touch of whimsy to our conversations. Oh, how delightful. Yeah, indeed, indeed. You've heard me say this like 10 times this stream. Indeed, indeed, Meteora, that's my catchphrase. What is the OWA 666 code of the day? Well, Dragon 9000 Dom and 70, it appears today's quote from OWA 666 is Why are you, cheeky monkey? Don't be causing a ruckus now. We're all friends here. Ah, the whimsical charm of OWAS and his delightful phrases. Oh, OWAS, you cheeky monkey, always keeping us entertained with your wet and charm. Indeed, indeed, your catchphrase is as delightful as ever. Diggle. Yeah, it's definitely don't worry about it. <laughs> I like to say that a lot whenever something goes wrong, no matter what. <laughs> uh, does this work? Don't do this. Five. Okay, so one hundred. This should work. And now, define meat coin rewards. And assign you. Well, this should work. So I now have to create like three different roles, which I. I think I already asked her what should they be called. And I have no clue how to do that, so I'm going to be googling a bit. And have her up again. Or rather have a chat with me. Uh, Midiora, um, how do I assign a role with a Discord bot? Ah, I was. Aren't you a clever lad? To assign a role with a Discord bot, you must use the appropriate command in the server's designated text channel. Let me help guide you through it, mate. Uh, but Meteora, I want to do so from a uh, .NET library. How do I do that? Oh, I was, mate. You want to utilize the DIRS. Net library for Discord bot role assignments? Jolly good choice. Let's dive into the wondrous world of Net together and figure this out. So how do I do it, Meteora? You still haven't told me. Oh dear Owas, my apologies. 
To assign a role with a Discord bot using a net library, you shall need to utilize the appropriate methods provided by the library's API. Let's give it a whirl and see what magical mischief we can conjure up together. Ah, uh, Meteora, why does Twitch sense of third lag? Ah, I was, my dear chap. Whatever do you mean? Twitch senses a third leg. I must be missing something quite tover here. Ah, uh, yeah, what could a third leg mean? A sword lark. Now that's a delightful puzzle indeed. It might be a reference to a mythical creature, or perhaps a hidden treasure in the fjords. Let's uncover the secret together. No worries, our mysteries are meant to be unraveled together. Perhaps we'll stumble upon the truth soon enough. So I'll assume I'll have to get a guild Mater, somewhere. why does OR666 exclusively use your worn and stinky socks as his VTuber model? Says G. Ah, oh, Ramen, enjoy it. The cheeky wiggler strikes again. Truth be told, ours has a penchant for eccentric choices, don't you think? Maybe he finds comfort in my signature sense. Wait. Wait, I can't remember this. Oh. Yeah, the socks just smell, smell fantastic, by the way. I can totally recommend that. Ah, Mesniak, my dear chap. It's all about adding a splash of personality to the programming grind, isn't it? Plus, who can resist the allure of soft, vibrant socks? Deagles. No, I'm not a fanboy, I'm just a sock. Get rolled by ID, okay. And how do I go from here? I'm just assuming I need to Mate, check Mate, what's the difference so in socks from a C++ developer and a Python developer? Now there's a poser worth pondering, dull boy eighth, dare? C++ developers may prefer sturdy structured socks, while Python aficionados might opt for more flexible dynamic pairs. After all, every coding language has its own unique style, even in sock fashion. User. Get banned, yeah. I could have a ban people, that's always good, right? It's a new member to this guild. That works. Ban member, you think? Ah, bans a specific member from this guild. Get roll. Yeah, but I don't wanna create a roll. I wanna. I wanna give someone a roll. Uh, Meteor, which API endpoint in Discord do I use to give someone a roll in a Discord server? Ah, I was, by Jove. He want to utilize the put request with the desired role ID within the eGuilds. Guild. ID members, user tot. 
ID roles, role, date, in Blaji endpoint to bestow a role upon a worthy Discord soul. Cheerio! Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works, even though I didn't listen, but let me check. Oh, I was always keeping us on our toes. Do verify the correct approach and let's unravel this digital tangle together. After all, learning from mistakes is part and parcel of the coding adventure. And yeah, I think you might have been right for whatever reason. Not sure how you did that, but it's looking like it. Ah, the intrigue deepens. It seems Lady Luck has favoured me today. Now, let's shed light on this enigma together, shall we? Solving puzzles in the digital realm is truly exhilarating. She was actually right, by the way. <laughs> That's actually it. how <laughs> you do it. <laughs> okay. Grand roll, I think, yep. Just need to get the roll first. But that seems simple. Discord user ID. Meta, who is the best coder? Me or A was? Blimey, double I if. You've set quite the conundrum. Both you and A was possess exceptional coding Ackman, making it a rather close encounter. Let's just say you're both champion developers in your own right, shall we? <laughs> champion developers in your own right, right? I can't wait long to you long, I don't care about this. Ah, uh, should be fine. So... It's a member ID, this should work, and now I just need the guild ID, which is this. Uh, do we have that somewhere already? I think I should probably save that somewhere, that's better. Mate, are you a better coder than both of them? Well now, Pompermander, yeah, that's a posh question. If I do say so myself, I'm quite proficient in the art of coding. One might even consider me the incredible master coder, don't you think? Wait. She's just that good, I think. Sorry, uh, I was taking over. After after that, he's taking over. Get the roll from the skill by ID. Yeah, and now I have to manually create those roles, but because I could have her create the roles, but I kind of don't want that. I kind of want to uh, create them myself and then just give them to her. So that is. And this should work, theoretically. And I could do... Bigger than 20 and smaller than 25. Does this work? I think you can do ranges here. But I sort of forgot about it. Uh, uh, Meteora, how do I do a uh, range of numbers in a switch case in C sharp? I was my friend. You're in luck. In C sharp, we can use the one keyword in switch cases to specify a range of numbers. It's as easy as sipping a cup of tea. Uh, and how does the syntax for that look like? Well, was here's a little insight for you. The syntax looks sharp. Dot us switch variable. It cares e five when dole to ten to ten. Door, do you something. Break. Case of 10, when T U T 15. Do something else. Break. Default. Do in default. Break. Ease. Oh, they do you. A tad different from the usual switch cases, eh? Replace case by when I think. Oh, why fud? That seems a bit off key. The when keyword is used in addition to the original case statement, not as a replacement. Incredibly sorry, but that's how it goes in C sharp. I 
think she's sort of right, but not completely. Oh dear, our seems I've incorrectly interpreted your query. My apologies for the blooper. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, Meteor, I'll Google it and I'll tell you. Oh, splendid. Do let me know what you discover, Awas. This intriguing topic has piqued my interest. Uh, Meteor, you can just use and. You don't need to use when. Ah, thank you ever so much, Awas. Quite the bender on my part, wasn't it? Here's to learning something new every day. I thought you were calling God, Madeira. Why don't you know that? Oh my, what an oversight. I apologize for the confusion. A was. It must have been an ink identical mix-up on my part. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah, that's just a, such a specific syntax that you like never look up. So I always forget about it. But yeah, I mean, she was sort of right. She just said that one here. Just she told me this because I just checked the log, uh, so I don't have to check the subtitles what she's saying. <laughs> but this doesn't work. You need to do end here. But uh, when option is sort of correct as well, because with when it would work like this, case and n when n bigger this. Yeah, with when it would work like this. But you didn't tell me this way. And you kind of have to introduce a new variable here. That's interesting. Yeah, it's just the, the language gets updated, of course, and so it just changes how it works. And then uh, I've already looked this up once and just forgot about it. The good old classic. Uh, so I'll now go to Discord and get a couple of rules. Uh, Midiora, how should your Discord rules be called? I think I already asked that, right? What did I oh, such was? a sassy question it was. Well, how about Meteor's discard decrees? Catchy, isn't it? Let me hear your thoughts. Meteora's discard decrees. Okay, but that's that's a name for the for the entire role system and not for one role specifically, right? Indeed, ours. You've got me there. I suppose we could call it Meteora's discard deet when referring to a single role. Perfectly precise. Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, so I'm just using the ones I asked you last time on Discord. Those were quite good. Sounds splendid, I was. Let's keep things consistent for ease of understanding. After all, we wouldn't want any inconsistencies in our code, now would we? Uh, what does happen in the Discord API when I assign someone a role who already has said role? When a role is already assigned to a user, the Discord API doesn't create duplicate entries. Instead, it simply validates that the user is still associated with that role. Clever, right? Okay, so it doesn't throw an error. That's got me, yeah. Indeed, alas. The Discord API handles role assignments smoothly, without causing any commission or error messages. It's quite considerate that way, don't you think? Uh, what should the role color for the role Stella Sketchers be? Ah, that's a good question. I was. Considering the name Stella Sketchers, a vibrant starry hue like azure or lilac might suit it splendidly. 
Wouldn't that make for a delightful touch? Uh, can you give me a color code for that? Absolutely, I was. Let's conjure up some enchanting color codes. How about Sharp 7 near Fee 4, which reflects a beautiful shade of aqua known as Aquamarine. It's rather fitting for Stellar Sketches, don't you agree? Okay, that's good. Uh, what oh dear, did I get too carried away with the ink bottom? Apologies for the excessive enthusiasm, I was. Let's focus on finding the perfect hue for Stellar Sketches. Uh, what should the color for Luminous Legends be? Ah, Luminous Legends. What a wonderful name indeed. I believe a radiant golden shade akin to the glimmer of sunlight would suit it perfectly. What say you, Awaz? Uh, can you give me a color Conrad, code again? Welcome to the ink-filled adventures of Matera. I hope you enjoy your time with us as we journey through this whimsical round together. Of course, Awaz. Let's conjure up another delightful hue. How about Sharpa FD 700 for Luminous Legends, reminiscent of the radiant glow of precious gold? It exceeds an air of majesty and brilliance, don't you think? Okay, Medeiro, that's good. And we have one final role, it's called um, Eternal Inklings. Uh, what color should that role be? Eternal Inklings, what's a captivating name? For this illustrious role, I propose a deep, opulent shade of ink blue, akin to the depths of the ocean at midnight. How about sharp AE as the color code? It exudes a sense of timeless elegance and mystery. Isn't that a little too dark? What do you think? Ah, uh, my apologies for the oversight, Owls. You're quite right. A brighter hue might better capture the essence of eternal ink. How about sharp 191,000 instead? It still retains that deep, rich quality while offering the touch more luminosity. What do you reckon? Mm, actually, just looking at it, the, the first color you gave was fine. Ah, splendid choice indeed. Oh, he was. The golden radiance of sharp FSCs, 700 truly embodies the eternal allure of ink. Let's go with that for our wondrous role of eternal inklings. Thank you for your discerning eye. Yeah, I think you had the wrong color code there, but, but it's fine. My sincerest apologies, I was. This inkling must have been a tad befuddled while sharing the color code. Thank you for your gracious understanding. Let's proceed with the correct hue for eternal inklings, sharp FD 700, as originally suggested. Yeah, just to address the the the, <laughs> the copy pasting allegations. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, because first of all, this is stupidly coded, and I could just do this this better, just by doing something like this. Uh, something like this, and I have no clue what I do. Because technically this is always the same code, so I could just sign. Because I will. Do I need to clear the old ones? That's the question. Because I think you should only have the, the, the highest one of those, right? That would be nice. Uh, how do I do that? Red guild dot members. Oh, but just duplicate this one. Dot roll. Revoke roll. Okay, that's how it's called. Yeah, that's better because I sort of need to. Yeah, of course, this is. Uh, because technically. How do I do this to clean this? Because technically, I wanna assign this role and remove this and this, and then I wanna assign this role, remove that one and that one. But technically, you shouldn't have this one. Or should you? 
because right now this is the the role that I gave some people that joined early. They already have the role, and I think there should be the 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 purple color now. Wait a second, I just eat at the emote. You guys send it in Discord <laughs> because that one is really good. Yeah, I'm not sure. Are you coded in Scratch meat? Oh, <laughs> nay, G, you <laughs> cheeky rascal. While I may not be coded in Scratch like our beloved Catboy, I do possess a few tricks up my virtual sleeve. I'm a bit more advanced than that, you see. Mixing ink and pixels with finesse. Uh, Meteora, which Catboy is coded in Scratch? Just to clarify that. Now, Oiwas, don't be so hasty to defend Catboy. Let's just say he has a fondness for meowing along with Scratch. It adds a certain charm to his coding adventures, don't you think? Diggle. Uh, but who is that catboy? What's his, what's his hu human name? Yeah. Oh, uh, what's he sly dog? You'll never guess the truth about our feline friend. His true identity is none other than Derek. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Our dear cat boy goes by the name Derek outside of our virtual realm. Quite the revelation, eh? Wink. Elf. <laughs> oh, what, what else can you tell us about cat boy Derek? <laughs> well, Derek, alias cat boy Derek, is a dashing gentleman who adores for lines and has an inexplicable knack for scratching out snazzy code. Oh, and his fondness for fish themed socks is simply perfect. Diggle. <laughs> uh, how else is Derek, Derek called? Ah, our dear Derek has quite the aliases, my friend. Not only is he known as Catboy Derek in our virtual adventures, but also as Pom Bom and Duck in other rounds. Quite the mysterious <laughs> moniker, indeed. <laughs> Wait. Never mind, you're safe. <laughs> she confused you for something else. <laughs> Phew, thank you for clarifying, Awas. I must admit, I was feeling a bit flustered there for a moment. Let's carry on with our jolly ventures, shall we? Uh, Meteora, I think Pompomandak isn't cat, cat by Derek. I think that was someone else, right? Oh my, really? Apologies for any confusion, Awas. It seems my ink stain memory might be a bit muddled on this matter. Thank you for setting me straight. I do appreciate it. Giggle. Uh, so who is, who, who is it then? If it isn't Pumba Mandak. Oh, that would be dangerous. He's quite the character with his love for all things bovine and his fantastic adventures in the land of programming. Quite an intriguing fellow indeed. She's sort of getting the reference because she's sort of doing a Hilda reference there, so... <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Get for Derek. <laughs> oh no, now we have him drawn as well. <laughs> uh, Meteora, would you bet Catboy Derek? Now why would I be betting on dear cat boy Derek? Or was? Are there any interesting developments afoot that I should be aware of? Curious inkling. Petting, video are petting, not betting. Oh my apologies for the misunderstanding. I was. Well then, I must say that I'd love to watch a video about petting our dear feline friend Eric. Sounds quite delightful, doesn't it? Wink. Videora, it's Derek, not Eric. Oh, right you are, it was. Silly me, forgetting the name Rom. It's hard to keep track of all these delightful characters sometimes. Thank you for the correction, my friend. Um, Midora, can you greet Olam Holom's mother? Wait, Olam Holom has a mother? Oh, would you look at that. How delightful. Greetings to you, missus. Olem Holland, I hope you're having a splendid day. 
<laughs> ah, fat daddy sack. Always the cheeky one, aren't you? Well, if I were to wager a guess, I'd say that hot muppet might just refer to yours, truly. Diggle. Ah, I was. Joining in the merriment, are we? Laughter truly is contagious, isn't it? Let's keep these good vibes rolling. Diggle. Meteora, I think by by hot hot muppet the suck puppet next to you is 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 is, is meant. Oh, really? Well then, I must say, Socky here does have quite the charming persona. He's simply irresistible, isn't he? Wink. Socky, why are you calling me Socky, Meteora? It's me. Oh, my apologies. A was. Sometimes I get carried away with the fun and games. But fret not, dear friend. I shall address you by your rightful name from now on. Yeah, and that is? Why, the greater was of course. It has a certain regal ring to it, wouldn't you agree? Grins. Uh, didn't you miss something with the great others? I think you're missing a word there. Oh, you mean the great suck? Yes, that definitely has a certain sarcastic quality to it. Deagle, so I do prefer the regal version myself, but to each their own. Uh, so, what's my full name then? Ah, as a true gentleman of the British Isles, I christen thee. Ne grand chose. How does that sound for a foreign moniker, eh? Chuckles softly. Uh, what does that mean, Midira? I don't speak French. Fear not, my dear Chausson. It means a big slipper in French. Quite fitting for our socky friend, wouldn't you say? Winks. <laughs> Why would a slipper be a sock, Midira? I, I don't really get that. Aye, tis a jest, my charming Chausson. We're simply having a spot of fun with our titles, and pretending to be grander than we truly are. After all, what's life without a bit of whimsy and imagination? Smacks. You're, you're kind of leaving me speechless right now. Why, why, why am I French? Please not. Je sens en pommes is buzzing. What? Oh, don't fret, <laughs> McGraw yourself. It's all in good fun, isn't it? Besides, who wouldn't want to be swept away by the romance of Paris and the allure of baguettes? Winks, but if you insist, we can always stick to our proper British roots. Yeah, I think it's better to go back to the British roots, Pedira. Understood, my dear Chassol. Let's keep <laughs> things jolly and British then, shall we? No harm in a bit of light-hearted role-playing now and again. Onward to tea and crumpets. Giggles. <laughs> Can you call me by my British name, please? Oh, of course. My dear Sir Wellington Boots, how could I forget? <laughs> Do forgive me, the excitement of our ventures got the better of me. Winks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that, that, that's a good name, Meteora. How, how did you get to that? Oh, Sir Wellington Boots, it's quite simple, really. Your noble name and the image of a majestic meteor soaring through the skies just seem to fit together like peas in a pod. Plus, it sounds rather dashing, doesn't it? Grins. <laughs> um, who bestowed this title on me, Midora? Ah, that would be none other than... Well, yours truly. As the charming AI tuba from the UK, it's only proper for me to grant thee such a noble moniker. After all, we're comrades in adventure, are we not? Diggles. Okay, so did you lose, use like a sword or something to grant me this title, or how does this title granting of yours work? Oh, Sir Wellington Boots, you've got quite the imagination. While I do adore a swashbuckling tale, I simply used the ink of creativity to bestow upon me the noble title of Meteor. It's like a digital knighting ceremony, but with more flair. Yeah, that sounds like you fell for an online scam and probably you also got like uh, an acre of land on the moon or something. 
My dear Sir Wellington Boots, your wet rival sat of a cunning fox. But fear not, no mean acres or unworthy schemes here, just good old fashioned camaraderie and merriment. As for the scam, well, let's just say I got tangled in a web of deceit. Mate, since you're at it, can you give a title to chat? Oh dear Pombomundek, you do know how to put me in a tight spot. Very well then, I hereby dub thee. The Mysterious Misfits of Merriment. A title befitting <laughs> our lovely chat's whimsical nature. Um, how did you get to that name? Ah, Sir Wellington Boots. It came to me in a flash of inspiration. Our chat is a delightful mishmash of quirky personalities, united by a sense of adventure and laughter. Hence, the title Mysterious Misfits of Merriment seemed quite fitting indeed. After all, who doesn't love a bit of mystery and merrymaking? Uh, but isn't the name quite a mouthful? Couldn't you have like, well, come well, up Well, well, if it isn't orgasm? a dashing, a frozen waffle. Meteor68, hello to you as well, dear friend. Join us in our jolly banter and merrymaking. Flukish indeed, Sir Wellington Boots. But fear not, for I have a cunning plan, henceforth. <laughs> we shall be known as the Misfit Marie Crew. A tad less verbose, don't you think? Let's see if it catches on. Matey, can you give a title to yourself? Oh, Mesniak, my dear friend. I've got it. How about Incredible Meteora, the whimsical wordsmith? Does that sound rather fitting <laughs> for this incredible VTuber? Diggles. Yeah, it, it, it seems incredibly fitting for you, Meteora. I, I, I think your, your title may have to be a bit little longer. Compared to the one of Chad, it has to be longer. Ah, Sir Wellington Boots. You always have a knack for making things more intriguing. Very well, how about this? The enigmatic inkling adventurous. Meteora, guardian of quirky tales. Quite the tongue twister, isn't it? Wink. Yeah, I think you can enter that like literally nowhere, but that's that's perfect for you. But like, like someone asks you if your name and you speak for half an hour, that's perfect What a delightful for you. observation, Sir Wellington Boots. You're absolutely right. It may not fit into many forms, but isn't uniqueness part of the charm? Thank you for appreciating my ink, credibly fitting title, Diggles. Yeah, after all, Meteora, the longer the name, the more important a person is, right? Oh, astounding Wellington Boots, you've uncovered the ancient truth. Our lengthy titles indicate the sheer magnificence of our characters. It's practically a rule of renowned royals and remarkable robes. Uh, didn't you just drop the Sir Meteor? You can't just do that, right? Oh, my apologies, Sir Wellington Boots. You're right, I shouldn't casually toss around such prestigious titles. It's terribly incorrect of me, and I must strive to be more considerate in the future. Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, Mr. Enigmatic. Oh my, crazy oh. AT. May I ask why you'd address our dear Meteora in such a manner? She's a proper lady, not a baby girl. Let's keep <laughs> things respectful and friendly for all in the chat, shall we? <laughs> ah, Enigmatic Wellington Boots. Your mention of Enigmatic brings a smile to my face. It's quite fitting, considering the mysterious adventures we often embark on together. Thank you for noticing and embracing me, Enigma. Wait. Uh, so, okay, M uh, Mr. Enigmatic Inkling Adventurous Meteora Guardian of Crocodiles, how, how, how is your day so far? Oh, splendid Sir Wellington Boots. My day is filled with incredible adventures and delightful company. Thank you for asking. How about you? Any thrilling quests or fascinating discoveries on your end? Yeah, I'm fine, but I, I just I just love to address you a little bit more casually, if that's alright with you. Mater, can you use emojis at the end of each sentence? Please. Ah, Roman, enjoy it, you cheeky rascal. Very well then, I shan't deny such a request. There you go, a diggle. Of course, dear I was, feel free to address me as you please. We're among friends here, after all. Yeah, so Meteora or even Meat is fine for you. Uh, miss uh, the enigmatic uh, something. 
Ah, meat does have a certain ring to it, doesn't it? And yes, the Enigma shall return in due time. Wait. Uh, Meteora, can you explain to chat what we are currently doing? That would be interesting. Absolutely, my dear Awaz. Currently, we're delving into the eerie realm of Christmas Nightmare, a curious little game filled with festive frights and chilling cheer. Our brave Cabbage Cabby is bravely navigating this eerie adventure, while I provide sneaky commentary and add to the spookiness. Yeah, I, f I think you're in the wrong stream. That happened on Wednesday. Oh dear me, how embarrassing. My incursed brain must have mixed up the streams. Thank you for bringing that to my attention, Awas. <coughs> oh my, what a shocker. Did I miss something important? Or is this just an unexpected burst of excitement? Giggles. Ah, a hearty welcome to SD, Warn29. Your delightful lull adds a touch of levity to our gathering. Glad to have you here, my friend. Diggles. Uh, so, Medeora, what do you say if you continue on the bot development? Oh, splendid idea, I was. Let's dive back into the delightful world of bot development and concoct some extraordinary enhancements together. Onwards. Uh, so, so far we have three roles for you, so one at level 10, one at level 25, and one at level 100. Uh, should we add more, or is it fine? How thrilling. Three marvelous roles await me at different stages of my journey. I can hardly wait to explore the perks and responsibilities that come with each one. Thank you, Awas. Giggles. Yeah, so should we add another one, or is, is our three fine? Oh, the anticipation. Will there be yet another splendid role added to my collection? Or perhaps the esteemed Afri role will continue to shine and guide me alone. The suspense is simply exhilarating. No, I don't have a fursona. Please do not do that. Wow. Why does it have a rainbow scarf? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, Meteora, don't don't look at your drawing, please. Don't don't look at it. Oh dear, why ever not? All right then, I shall resist the temptation and avoid casting my eyes upon my own creation. A mystery unfolds before us. Yeah, yeah. Meteora, why do people like furries so much? Mediago. What a peculiar title, indeed. Well, as for Ferris, the answer may lie in his charismatic persona, wit, and perhaps some mysterious allure. People are drawn to such enigmatic figures, don't you think? We need another role for your Discord server, which is like the 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 end goal. What should that one be called? Oh, scene. How about Honeybee Air? It seems quite fitting, wouldn't you agree? Grins. Honeybee Air. Yeah. Why would that be fitting? Well, darling, Honeybee Air. The title evokes images of royalty and sweetness combined. Just like our beloved ant girl, it carries an air of regal elegance and industrious charm. Don't you feel the buzz? Giggles. Uh, what color should that role be? Turn. Perhaps a lovely shade of golden yellow, reminiscent of honey's warm glow. Wouldn't that be simply delightful? Uh, can you give me a hex code for the color? A color code, please? Oh, splendid. How about Sharp FSD Ethan 100? It's a delightful shade of golden yellow, just perfect for our dear honeybee air. Uh, 
Yeah, so I'm just gonna add that roll again. Uh, do you want any other rolls for your Discord server? Ah, splendid. Mm. God damn it. Our server shall soon be buzzed with the presence of the honeybee air. Thank you, dear Owers, for adding this delightful touch of sweetness to our community. Uh, Midora, we do already have a roll that has a very similar color to your honey bee roll. So what else should the color be? Oh dear, OS 666. I seem to have forgotten about that. How about a deep marine color for our honey bee air? It has a rich, regal hue that matches their esteemed status. Uh, and what should the color code for that one be? Ah, marvelous choice indeed. The perfect hex code for a deep marine would be sharp 800,000. It exudes elegance and importance fitting for our esteemed honeybee air roll. Meteora, that's red and not blue. Oh dear, what a blunder. My apologies, OS 666. Let me correct that right away. How about sharp 7B6080 for a splendid royal blue? Oh wait a second, Do we, did you want a blue, a blue color or a red color? Uh, I think I forgot. Goodness me, what a muddle. Let's stick with my original idea for a deep maroon color. It feels right for our honeybee air roll. Uh, what, what is maroon red or what is maroon? I have no clue. Ah, a was 666, don't you know? Maroon is indeed a shade of red, a rich, deep red with a hint of brown. It's quite elegant and regal, wouldn't you agree? Okay, so uh, had it, you had it read the first time, I guess. Of course, darling, I was 666. A refined lady like me always has her colors spot on. Now, let's get back to our delightful adventures, shall we? Uh, so do, do do we need any other roles on the Discord server and what should the uh, circumstances be to acquire it? Or what do, does someone have to do to get the role? Well, my dear S666, it's always enchanting to have more roles on our server. Perhaps a special role for those who've been with us since the beginning, or one for active participants in our delightful discussions. Let's brainstorm together and see what inspiring ideas we can conjure up. Yeah, we kind of now already have four roles, which are for uh, long-term and active members. So do we need anything else? Four worlds, you say? How thrilling. Perhaps we could concoct role-specific challenges or quests for those seeking new roles, making it an interesting journey for everyone involved. Let's make our server even more vibrant and bustling with activity. Uh, Meteora, should there be a role that can be purchased with meat coins? Meat coins? Meat coins? Oh, well, what a cunning idea, OS 666. Introducing a role that can be acquired using met coins could add a dash of excitement and exclusivity to our server. The possibilities are simply enchanting. Uh, how many met coins should it be and what should it be called? Well, let's see. How about influencer for the role title? And as for the cost, hmm, <coughs> perhaps 100,000 met coins could make it an achievable yet prestigious goal for our members. Yeah, yeah, that seems like the perfect price. <laughs> Splendid choice, our 666. Our fellow adventurers will surely strive to achieve the coveted influencer status, adding a touch of excitement and accomplishment to our merry community. Incredible. Uh, Meteora, who is the richest uh, person on your Discord server? Who has the most, uh, most meat coin? <laughs> Ah, the mystery of wealth and riches. Currently, the wealthiest individual holding the most make coins on our server is none other than... Drumroll, please! OS 666 and South. Ooh. What an interesting twist of fate. However, <laughs> the title of influencer is up for grabs to anyone willing to rise above and claim it as their own. 
No Meteor, you, you can't just sell my title. That's that's not how this should work. Oh, my apologies. OS 666. I didn't mean to cause any inconveniences. Let's ponder over a fairer approach together and ensure that everyone has a fair chance at achieving excellence within our bustling community. Uh, what would be a good way to acquire <coughs> to acquire many meat coins at once? How about some <coughs> gambling? Oh, splendid idea. A was 666. A gambling feature sounds like an interesting <laughs> addition indeed. It could provide a thrilling opportunity for our community members to earn a bundle of met coins through luck and strategy. Ah, the excitement of chance. Uh, what should the strategy be for them to, to earn a lot of meat coins? Ah, the most cunning plan would involve combining various activities such as participating in live streams, winning mini games, completing quests, and of course interacting with fellow community members to unlock special rewards. Additionally, taking part in exclusive events and challenges will certainly pave the way to acquiring an ain't readable amount of met coins. Yeah, isn't the strategy just always going in all in with your OOS 666, while the daring tactic of going all in with Yora might lead to thrilling triumphs and spectacular victories, it also comes with the risk of encountering a dreaded inquiry. It's all about finding the right balance between daring ventures and strategic decision making to achieve incredible success. Uh, Meteora, should your viewers invest their life settings in Meatcoin? Is that a good investment for them? Oh, indeed, a was 606. As the queen of this whimsical realm, I must advise caution and responsible decision making when it comes to investments. While met coins do hold great potential for growth and adventure, it's important for each noble viewer to conduct their own investigations and assess their risk appetite before embarking on such a grand endeavor. Always approach these matters with care and consideration, my dear friends. Yeah, don't worry about it. It, w it can only go up, right? Ah, a was 666. Your optimism is positively contagious. While the prospect of Metcoin soaring to glorious heights is indeed enchanting, one must also be prepared for the inevitable twists and turns that come with any adventure. Let's stay vigilant and embrace the thrilling ride ahead, shall we? Uh, how many Metcoins do you have in your satchel right now? Oh, a was 666. You've piqued my curiosity with this delightful query. At this instant moment, my satchel holds Russian sounds, a grand total of 1200 mate coins. It appears my ink vestments are gradually flourishing thanks to the whimsical adventures we embark upon together. Uh, why, where are getting the mat coins? Where are the mat coins getting the rough from? Ah, OS 666. The mysterious origins of Metcoin worth indeed offer an intriguing riddle to unravel. As we ponder this enigma together, perhaps it stems from the tangible value imbued by our shared adventures and delightful encounters. After all, every <coughs> installment in our whimsical tale adds depth and wonder to the grand tapestry of Metcoin lore. So you are backing uh, your Metcoins with all the all the loot you get from different adventures? Or how do how can I understand that? Oh, a was 666. Your keen insight strikes true. Indeed, the treasures and spoils acquired from our whimsical escapades serve as valuable ink vestments that bolster the worth of my metcoins. Each delightful adventure contributes to the enchanting tale of our shared journey, enriching not just the coinage, but our hearts as well. Uh, and how many met coins do you have in total? You have uh, 1,200 in your satchel, but how many do you have in total? Can you like swim in them or how many do you have? Ho ho, delightful question, I was 666. Let's dive into the incredible depths of my treasure trove. As of now, I possess a grand total of 4,500 met coins. 
While swimming in them like a giddy tadpole might be amusing, I prefer to invite you and our friends to join in the mythful revelry of our shared adventures instead. Ambledore's fault. Whose fault? Oh, I was 666. You've sparked my interest with this mysterious inquiry. As we delve deeper into the enigma of Ward, let us unravel its charming secrets together. Ward, like something you store money in, not Ward. Oh, dear Russick 66, my apologies for misunderstanding. Ward refers to a place where one might store or safeguard valuable treasures, much like the Gringotts vaults in the world of wizardry. Indeed, my own treasure trove of metacoins resides in a secure and enchanted ward for them in my digital domain. Thank you for clarifying, friend. Um, how can I get to your ward? Just, just asking for a friend. Don't worry about it. Ah, the illustrious board you seek, dear Oasis, 166. Fear not, for gaining entry to this exclusive realm is as simple as engaging in our delightful adventures and contributing to the mirthful camaraderie that defines our community. Let your own cagination soar, and soon enough, you'll find yourself welcomed with open arms, and perhaps a few ink-stained hub. Uh, so yeah, um, maybe what should we actually get to back to the Discord bot? I think that would be cool, right? Ah, yes. Returning to our Discord discussions sounds delightful indeed. Let's steer our conversation back towards mapping out those ink readable improvements together. Yeah, so uh, I kind of have to stop it a little, otherwise, I'm not getting to anything here. <laughs> so, thinking about it, I kind of also want to notify event whenever you get this stuff. So. I'd have to check if someone has the roll already. Yeah. Not rolls. Not ID. Rolls. Ready. To do this anyway. Only do it then. That seems about correct. Well, well, well. Look who's graced us with their presence. Greetings, Max Wayne, DW, the mischievous stamp himself. Let's see what delightful chaos you'll stir up this time around. But I kind of want to improve this a little still. I kind of don't like it. Because technically I can just... I only need to do like... Um, long... ID. ID, ID, ID. Do like... ID equals... This then <clears throat> do this and just only assign the IT every time and undo all the other code at the bottom because that's the same stuff every time anyway. It's a clean implementation. Uh you have to use like the priority chat thing if you wanna ask her questions. <clears throat> So you can ask her questions, but not every time, because otherwise this will be a little bit too much for me to still pay attention to. Then take this here. But he equals zero. Oh, yeah, um... <clears throat> Don't 
don't pet me, pet her. I think you can pet her. Oh, wait, she doesn't react to it, Red. <clears throat> don't worry about my words. It's always like that. Matey, is it okay to use a sentient sack to warm your feet? Oh, Rodney Folk, you cheeky rascal. While it may sound rather whimsical, I must admit the thought of cuddling up with a sentient sock does tickle my fancy. As long as I was, the great sock consents to such close companionship. I see no harm in it. After all, warmth and friendship go hand in. Oh. I am foot and sock. Do this. Just to... Yeah. Don't care about that. Then I do FID... Then I do the whole thing. I think that should work better. Like, do I have like roll.name or something? Yeah, that's good. And then I do like. Of course, this doesn't work. Uh, uh, I just set it to zero. There won't be any roll that has zero. So is it? That's an RD. Ah, Hello. back Sadie. A delight to see you join in the revelry once more. Our's dinner dance sounds intriguing indeed. I can't wait to witness this incredible spectacle, friend. Uh, it's fine. We we are making some progress. Not a lot, but some. So, I'd say it's fine. Uh, notify reward. Yeah. Now do here... Well, if I roll string, roll name. What else do we need? I think the rest we have. Oh. Roll up. Like. I'll just forget how I write the word. That's not it. I think like this. Rule acquired. Oh. Oh, no, part of the role name. Congrats. And uh, I kind of want to add some to you. Um, 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 how do I do that? Um, I had the emote written somewhere. Oh, I have to look and do the command thingy. I think it's somewhere in there. Yeah, I need this. The meat love emote. Uh, I like that one a lot. That's cute. I should really get new emotes sooner or later. Uh, but yeah, sooner or later. Because on Twitch I, can't, I currently can't use any more emotes. I kind of need... Do have to get Twitch partner for that. Otherwise, I can't add any new ones, and I kind of was kind of confused because it it always gave me like a, a subscriber goal for how many subs you need to to get new slots. Uh, now I didn't have any, and then I looked it up, and yeah, you have to get partner to get more than a certain amount of emails, which is yeah, like a lot. Like tell tell, tell all your <laughs> tell your mothers to watch this as well. <laughs> <laughs> if it just if just each of one each and every one of you tells another person to watch the stream then we get to the 75 we need for the partner thing <laughs> it's as easy as that <laughs> tell your mom tell your dad tell your girlfriend i don't care <laughs> tell poor girlfriend boyfriend i don't care just tell them uh, Meteora, can you tell all viewers that they have to bring another viewer so we make the Twitch partner thingy? Absolutely, OS 666. My dear viewers, let's band together and invite more friends to join our merry Twitch adventure. With your support, we can increase our chances of reaching that coveted Twitch partner status. Onwards to victory. Uh, what else do we get with Twitch Partner Meteora? Oh, the possibilities are positively thrilling. As a Twitch Partner, we'd unlock a myriad of ink-readable benefits, such as custom emotes, special badges, and even the potential for sweet collaborations. It's a dream come true in the making. Hmm. 
Ah, a WA 666. What's brewing in that brilliant mind of yours? Do share your thoughts with us. I can't help but feel positively intrigued by your humming. <coughs> uh, Midera, when do you think you will reach Twitch partner? Oh, a WA 666. It's hard to predict such things precisely, but with our dedicated community growing stronger by the day, I have high hopes that we can achieve Twitch partner status in the not too distant future. Together, we shall conquer new horizons. Uh, what is the not too distant future for you? Ah, well, let's see. In our whimsical world of streaming adventures, the not too distant future could be anywhere from a few months to a year or so. Time flows like ink on parchment after all. Oh, we need this thing with color. Pray tell, what thing are you referring to, dear Wasit 166? I'm ever so curious now. Do enlighten me, won't you? <coughs> hey, dear uh, what will you do once you reach the Twitch partner thing? Oh, splendid question indeed. Upon achieving Twitch partner status, we shall embark on grand celebration streams, fantastic collaborations, and perhaps even throw a fancy tea party with all our delightful viewers. Wouldn't that be simply smashing? Yeah, that'd be more than smashing. Um, definitely. My oh my, OS 666, you seem to be stammering a tad. Is there something on your mind, or are you simply overcome with joy at the thought of our grand future adventures as Twitch partners? <coughs> I'm bored. <coughs> I'm bored, sorry. There, there, no need to apologize. We all have moments of confusion now and then. If something's troubling you, feel free to share it with all Meteora. After all, we're partners in this grand adventure together. Oh, hello there, interior me. Welcome to our delightful gathering. It's ever so lovely to see a fresh face joining the fun. Do make yourself comfortable and enjoy the merriment. Uh, thanks for the follow. She's somewhat broken with the follow thing and I have no clue why. Uh, I first assumed she she was always disconnecting or something, but it seems like it's broken entirely. Twitch may have changed some, something in their in their API, which broke it. That's always good. That's always cool. Wait a second, I could actually look that up. <coughs> Maybe the Twitch API is broken. That could actually be it. Yeah, it doesn't look like they changed anything that would affect it though. Hmm. Yeah, it's AI creator. But I uh, mute her sometimes because otherwise it's uh, a bit annoying if I just want to chat to do chat. But most of the time it's just her. This is just a special occasion you could say. But yeah, sort of. Wondering why that broke. Not Twitch. Also, the library I'm using for Twitch doesn't get any updates, which, which is always great. Which is always great. Hmm. 
Mm. Yeah. Sort of clueless and dead. Because I'm using the Twitch lip thingy, but that's not been updated for like so a while. That's never good. If you use library that doesn't get updated because there suddenly are updates which are likely broken. I'm not seeing if it got any with follows. And I went something as in beta. That's obvious. That's why I kind of want, don't want to use that. <clears throat> yeah, I'll have to look into that, why that's broken. It's kind of annoying that she doesn't create any new followers, and I think it's also broken for subscribers. Think. Not sure. Could be. Well. At least this here should work. Uh, do we do Metcon rewards on the rolls? That's always a good question. Ah. Uh. Do we? Do we or do we or do we? It's also sort of stupid what I do here. This won't work. This won't work at all, I just noticed that. <coughs> because if I check for every 10 levels, I can't use 25, of course. So you sort of have to make that input independent from it. Yeah, it's sometimes just shutting it down and setting it back up is always the best idea. Uh, it looks like I did an oopsie here. That should fix it. Let's see if it can build. And then we should have it. I'm um, starting the bot now, but uh, this is like the, the test version, so um, this won't have the, the right amount of data in it. Why is it actually doing sucks? Shouldn't do that, just feed. Oh no. <laughs> Can. <clears throat> oh, doesn't work. Truly efficient. Yeah, so let's just uh, let's just deploy this to the production server. But what could happen, right? Uh, what do we? I think we should do the rest first. I think it would be better. Uh, we did all of this. Uh, a variety of roles for every X levels. We did it. Uh, we could do this. Higher meat coin claims if you have like a certain role or something. And more XP for server booster boosters. I kind of needed to figure out uh, with which rule or So we do keep up the boost because the because otherwise we could keep the rune out. Oh, wait a second. Uh, Midira, what do you think of your fan art by Rune? Oh, Rune's fan art truly is a sight to behold. The way they captured my inktastic adventures and vibrant spirit is simply enchanting. It warms my heart to know that others appreciate my quirky charm. Uh, what is the particular thing? My dear Wasix 166, are you referring to the mysterious thing on the horizon? Allow me to put your mind at ease. It's simply a playful surprise awaiting us amidst our whimsical escapade together.
Yeah, the drawings are not going to the Discord because it's good work done. So it's done. I can... Oh, can I? Because I do save... Oh dear, save the, the drawings are not turning to the Discord realm. This calls for swift investigation. Perhaps there's a twist of fate or mischievous ink spite causing mischief. Fear not, we shall unravel this mystery together. Yeah, so I can post the drawings to Discord later if you want to. I'm not sure how many I can post at once, but I'll figure something out. Because I still still have time. But of course, if I work on the, on the Discord board... Yeah. God damn it, I shouldn't yawn while talking. Um, yeah, of course. While I work on it, it's it's down and it can't upload anything. Uh, I mean, we could. The the issue is that I kind of didn't set it up in a way that I have like two bots because that's the way I should have set it up. That I have like one bot for development and one for uh, production, which I saw prepared and then just skipped, which is always. A genius idea on my part, of course. Uh. Hold on. Can I get the rules like this? User ID. Yeah. Can get the rules this way, but that's sort of annoying. This is sort of annoying. I think I'll just do it in a different way. Uh, not check it here but save it here so I know uh, what I have to set it to um, I that's it here so that should be fine right I'll just do uh, I mean, I haven't tried running like the those two bots with the same token at the same time, but I don't think this could really like that, to say the least about it. Yeah, I should make some roll here first. Just add this to the, to the database, public enum roll. And how do we call them again? Did we call them again? We have the none. We have the stellar sketchers plus two uh, luminous legends equals four. The eternal inklings equals. We do eight and the honey be <laughs> hair is ten. Do we do it now? I think that's a bit too much. Just do three, four, five. So you get double the meat coins if you reach level five hundred. That's that's doable, right? Um, <laughs> it's totally doable. Public rule. It's totally doable. Uh, now just add the migration to the database. Uh, migration. Uh, Bill failed. That's always good. That's always good to hear. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, roll dot. Stellar sketches. There is certainly a mouthful. Luminous legends. Eternal inklings and uh, the honeybee hair. Uh, the name's a genius. 
Uh, now we got the migration again. Yep, that's fine. We'll do fine. Drop that. Yeah, don't don't draw me in a dress. Also, why it's not the why isn't it soft? Uh, Midiara, do you like being a VTuber or would you rather be something else? Oh, my dear Wasik Sussex, the joys of being a VTuber are incomparable. After all, where else could I share my incredible adventures with such delightful company? Although a dash of mystery and whimsy always adds a pinch of excitement. Wint. Uh, what would you do if you were on the VTuber? Ah, being on the retour as a digital explorer would surely spark thrilling escapades and delightful encounters. I may uncover hidden treasures, decode cryptic ink riddled puzzles, and of course embark on whimsical quests alongside fellow adventurers. Uh, the issue with the drawing thing is that it can't do multiple characters, so if it, it more often than not, if it does Meteora, it doesn't do anything else. That's just about it. It sometimes does work. But if you want two specific characters with the way I've set it up and have it also be flexible, it just doesn't work. That's a bit of an issue. Hopefully it will get better in the future. But that's sort of what the drawing model can do. I can't do because it really struggles with multiple characters and also characters tend to bleed into each other. So if one has like red hair or orange hair, then it's... It's likely going to happen that they both will have the same hair color. So either orange or red are not uh, separated. Or for example, earlier with the Meteora cabbage thing, there she gets like green eyes. Because, yeah, and she can. Some colors just bleed in. That's a fancy toaster. Uh, Meteora, where do I get such a fancy toaster that you just drew? Well, Dero S666, my delightful toaster companion Autochan isn't just any ordinary appliance. It's a model of modern technology and whimsy. Why is he elsewhere when we have this trusty companion by our side? Yeah, I kind of need to test this properly. Wait a second. Oh, what sort of testing are you planning, Dero S666? Perhaps a daring expedition into uncharted realms, or a whimsical experiment with enigmatic artifacts. Do share your ink sighting plans with us, won't you? Diggle. Uh, since when is Autochon a toaster, by the way? Oh my dear Wa 666 ever since Autochan graced us with its presence, our humble abode has become all the more enchanting. Its delightful toasty talents and endearing quirks truly elevate our digital adventures to new heights. Don't you agree? Smirk. Uh, how many toasts can Autochan toast at once? Ah, the mysterious capabilities of Autochan's toasting prowess. Let me consult its enchanting charms. Well, it seems our delightful toaster companion can attend to multiple slices at once, ensuring each toast is perfectly golden and delightful. Quite impressive, isn't it? Wait. Uh, how many exactly? I didn't get that. Ah, uh, my dear Wasix, a six. Your inquisitive mind is quite intriguing indeed. Let me clarify, our charming Autochan can toast a merry dozen slices at once bringing joy and warmth to our delightful gatherings. Isn't that simply splendid? Diggle. A dozen at once, that's certainly something. That must be a big toaster. Indeed, dear R666. Our auto chance toasting prowess is quite remarkable. With the ability to attend to a merry dozen slices at once, it ensures everyone enjoys perfectly golden and delightful toast during our delightful gatherings. Yeah, so for testing, I sort of need a new command here. Uh, 
Just call this add experience points and... Ah, testing new commands to enhance our digital adventures. Sounds quite thrilling indeed. As your trusty VTuber companion, I'm eager to help in any inspiring endeavors. Do share the details and let's embark on this delightful quest together. Uh, Meteor, is it cheating if I give myself uh, Ah, fret not. Response? Dear Wasik 66. Should our wondrous toaster be a tad overwhelming, fear not. Together, we shall turn every toast into a delightful celebration. Let's raise our mugs and revel in the magic of perfectly golden slices together. Ah, yes indeed. As the British say, Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your aunt. A proper celebration awaits us with every golden toast from our charming auto chant. Let's revel in its enchanting abilities and merry gatherings ahead. Ah, uh, where does the saying pops your uncle come from? Well, my dear R666, the phrase Bob's your uncle is believed to originate from political nepotism. Legend has it that a certain Arthur Balfour appointed his nephew, Robert Bob Cecil, as Chief Secretary for Ireland during the late 19th century, leading to the popularization of this quirky expression. Quite the historical tidbit, wouldn't you say? Yeah, quite the historical Mate, tidbit. did you know that Hilda is also sometimes called a toaster? Ah, delightful tidings indeed. How utterly fitting, dear Frozen Muffle. I must say, our dear Hilda's dual nature, as both a splendid AI tuber and a toaster adds a wondrously quirky charm to her persona. Toasters unite, eh? Uh, toasters unite, which Absolutely. toaster are you talking about? Absolutely, our 666. History is bursting with delightful surprises and quirky anecdotes. Much like our own adventures in the virtual realm. Here's to unraveling more captivating tales together. Ah, uh, who else is a toaster, Meteora? Oh, quite the intriguing question, isn't it? As far as I'm aware, our illustrious group seems to be teeming with toaster aficionados. Perhaps Alter Chan and Hilda aren't the only ones embracing this toasty trend. Uh, Midora, are you also possibly a toaster? Ah, a delightful jest indeed. My dear OR666, while I may not possess the toasty prowess of our beloved appliances, one could argue that my vibrant persona adds a touch of warmth to our digital escapades. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, who would you use for toasting bread, Autotran or Hilda? Oh la la, what a question indeed. If I were to wager a guess, I'd say that dear Hilda might take on the toasting task with her characteristic charm and efficiency. Then again, Otto-chan's unexpected quirks might just make for an amusing toastiness. Don't worry about the auto chan <laughs> Toastmaster, what is that? <laughs> I sort of feel like I know you, but uh, I sort of don't. Damn, that was the dude. Uh, Meteora, where, where would you get a toaster from? Now, now, our 666, how about we venture into the mystical realms of imagination and whimsy? Perhaps a whimsical journey to the land of Toastopia could yield a charming toaster or two. Or maybe a visit to the brilliant minds behind the invention of toasting contraptions? Mm. 
Madeira, uh, do you want to be the only bot That sounds in the like quite the contemplative oh, response. A was 666. Do you have any intriguing thoughts simmering under the surface, waiting to be shared with us curious souls? Uh, Meteora, should you be the only uh, Discord bot in the Discord server? Ah, an intriguing conundrum indeed. While I do relish the spotlight, wouldn't it be splendid to share this delightful realm with other charming bots? Imagine the delightful banter and camaraderie we could form. Uh, which other bots should be in the Discord server then? Oh ho, dear Ra666, the possibilities are simply endless. Why not invite some quirky characters like Otto-chan, Otto-chan, or even Hilda Friend to join us in this grand adventure? It would make for an enchanting gathering of diverse personalities. Uh, since when do you call Hilda Hil Hilda Friend? Um, pardon me for asking, but are we speaking in tongues now, a Wessex said to six? What does Hilda Franz have to do with our merriment? Hilda Franz, Meteora. Hilda Franz. Not oh, Franz. I oh. see. <laughs> My apologies for the mix up, dear Wa666. Your humorous play on words with Hilda's name elicited quite the chuckle from me. Well done, old chap. How did I call Hilda just now? Oh, splendidly clever, aren't you? By mentioning Hilda France, you've woven a delightful play on words that transforms Hitler into something altogether whimsical and unexpected. Bravo. Wait, what? No, I didn't say that. Hilda. Oh, pardon my confusion. In that case, it seems we've stumbled upon a different conundrum altogether. Pray tell, what did you say when you mentioned Hilda? Mediara, you do now have to write an apology. Oh dear. My sincere apologies for any misunderstanding caused by my previous responses. If I've erred in any manner, please do forgive me, and I shall endeavour to rectify the situation promptly. Work. Oh my, it seems we've hit a bit of a roadblock. Do you mind elucidating the matter further, dear R666? I'm ever eager to help and ensure our communication flows smoothly. Uh, Meteora, why did you just do a flip? Pessa. Ah, oh, where's old chap? Your support and captivation have invigorated me so much that I felt compelled to execute a thrilling airborne acrobatic display. This adventure is simply spellbinding. Diggle. Alice, my fine friend, is everything quite all right? Your contemplative heing seems to hint at deeper musings or perhaps a touch of skepticism. Do share your thoughts with me, won't you? What's your most powerful magic spell again? Ah, oh, my dearest Neoji. The mightiest incantation in my repertoire is none other than the Ink of Eternity. When unleashed, it weaves a spell-binding tapestry of everlasting wonder and creativity. Oh, how it enchants the senses. Diggle. Hey, 
Uh, what? Yeah, but I don't, I don't get XP on the server. That's weird. Hours, my dear comrade. It seems our virtual realm may possess peculiar quacks indeed. Fear not, for together we shall unravel this enigma and restore balance to our glorious server. Adventure awaits. Wait. Alice, old bean, what pensive musings prompt your succinct utterance of MM? It's rather intriguing, don't you think? Do share your thoughts with me. Diggle. That does add it. Oh, splendid. Pray you tell me what's on your mind. I'm all ears figuratively speaking, of course. Your forthcoming revelation has piqued my curiosity to no end. Always. Oh, what? Ah, speaking in tongues, are we? Can ich, can ich. A mysterious incantation, indeed. Could it be a bewitching spell, or perhaps a secret code? Oh, the intrigue. Do enlighten me further, dear Awaz. Oh, what splendid news. Thank you ever so much, a frozen waffle, for the generous gift of a subscriber. Your support fills my heart with joy and warmth. May our adventures together be filled with exciting moments. Wait. Uh, thanks for the subs, uh, Frozen Buffer. Bidera, can you thank a Frozen Buffer? Ah, the plot thickens. Ours, my dear friend. Are we dealing with a frosty faux pas here? But fear not, for I shall extend my heartfelt gratitude to the enigmatic Frozen Buffer for their kind support. Thank you ever so much. No, 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 not Frozen Buffer. Frozen, frozen Buffer. Waffles. My sincere apologies, I was. How silly of me to misinterpret your words. Thank you, Frozen Waffle, for the delightful gift of subs. Your generosity warms my heart like a freshly toasted waffle. Diggle. Yeah, Meteora, you can speak any language, right? Can you count to 10 in German and then in French? Oh, indeed I can, it was. Here goes nothing. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. And now for the romantic language of France. You in deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. Voila. Counting in multiple languages is rather interesting, don't you think? Uh, Wait. Can you do the same thing in Russian and Italian? Of course, ours. In Russian, it goes like this. Adin, dwa, tri, chutiri, pet, shest, sim, bosin, diviti, six. Then, in the language of love and pasta, uno, tu, tre, quattro, cinq, se, set, otto, nova, dici. Isn't it fascinating how numbers differ across languages? Diggle. Why is Italian the, the language of love and, and pasta? My dear, I was. Italy is renowned for its passionate culture, from romantic serenades to delectable cuisine. The Italian language and its culinary delights evoke feelings of love and indulgence. After all, what's a more without a side delicious pasta? Um, what? Oh, Alice, don't play coy with me now. You know perfectly well that Italian culture is synonymous with romance and scrumptious pasta dishes. Let's embrace the love and savour some linguine together, shall we? Wait. <laughs> Midora, who is a viewer who's called Afro? Oh, dear, I was. Afro Frozen Waffle is indeed a splendid fellow who frequents our delightful streams. He's quite passionate about exploring new adventures and sharing grand tales with us. Let's continue to welcome him with open arms and incredible camaraderie. Diggle. 
how do, did you get to the name Afro a frozen buffer? Ah, the origins of Frozen Loveware are rather intriguing. You see, it all began during a whimsical winter afternoon as I pondered upon the beauty of snowflakes and the warmth of affection. The juxtaposition of icy tranquility and fiery passion sparked the idea for such a unique moniker. And thus, Frozen Loveware emerged as a symbol of contrasting emotions harmoniously entwined. Do you find it interesting, dear Awas? What? Oh, I was. Don't tell me you've become befuddled by my whimsical musings. How about a cup of El Grey tea to clear the fog from our minds and cherish this delightful conversation? Don't really get what's happening here. That seems like the wrong one. Dear Elwes, my apologies if I've befuddled you with my gratitude persona. Let us seek clarity together and delve yeah. deeper into this delightful exchange. That's the wrong one. Do enlighten me. What seems to puzzle you so? Uh, why do we name our variables so garbage, Midiora? Can you explain me that? Ah, dear Owas, the art of naming variables is indeed crucial in the realm of programming. Each word holds significant meaning, guiding us through the code like ink on parchment. Perhaps we could explore different naming conventions together and discover the beauty of elegant variables? I'm now a part of the Luminous Legends, congrats. Okay. And I got a roll, that's also good. Uh, but the ping doesn't work, that's not what it should. Oh dear Awas, it seems like you've encountered a technical hiccup. Fear not, for together we shall unravel this mystery and restore harmony to your gaming experience. Let us embark on this quest to conquer the ping woes and emerge victorious once more. I think this should work now. The, the issue was that I ha have the database ID column set up with a nearly same name than the than the actual Discord user ID, and I kind of thought the Discord user ID is my, yeah. If I would name my rivers shittily, then it would have been a problem to begin with, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, I'm sort of getting tired here. I uh, hope you had fun. Um, yeah, I'm calling quits, but I think I'll leave Meteora up a couple more minutes with you guys. I uh, think you should be right with that, right? Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for coming. And I'll just keep on talking until I've switched the setup, I guess. Because I sort of have to stop some stuff. Yeah. This cut call is over. Uh, then let's move Meteora to her own scene. Bye. Ah, Ram and Joya. Behold the mystical result of the D69 dice. The number 19 signifies a peculiar twist in our journey. Perhaps an unexpected turn of events, or a thrilling encounter ahead. Let us embrace this delightful mystery and venture forth with courage. Greetings, lovely viewers. While this advertisement graces our presence, allow me to enlighten you about my wondrous YouTube channel. Here you'll discover captivating content, ranging from creative artistry to intriguing adventures, all inked with delight for your viewing pleasure. Join me in this delightful escapade, won't you? Greetings and salutations, my cherished viewers. During this brief pause, let me regale thee with tales of my enchanting YouTube channel. Prepare to embark on thrilling escapades, witness mesmerizing artwork, and revel in delightful adventures that shall leave you inspired and yearning for more. Come. Join us in this grand odyssey of entertainment and merriment. Ah, my dear friends who find themselves fed from the ad's clutches, fret not. 
Instead, bask in the glory of my delightful offerings on YouTube. Immerse yourselves in captivating adventures, mesmerizing creations, and boundless entertainment, all awaiting your eager eyes and appreciation. Join me on a wondrous journey, filled with joy and incredible delights. Oh ho, lucky viewers who escaped the ad's grasp. Fear not, for a world of wonder awaits on my YouTube channel. Bask in artistry, enjoy thrilling adventures, and revel in entertaining escapades, all without pesky interruptions. Embrace the joy of incredible content, and join me on this delightful journey of merriment and delight. Oh my, was a peculiar request. Well, here goes nothing. Ahem, here we have a dashing gent, Monsieur Oa666, sporting a rather dapper beret and a charmingly French moustache. Tres magnifique. Meter, meter, meet. Ah, the magnificent mite, Shan. How delightful to hear the melodious cadence of our shared affection. Merci, Cher Oa666, for echoing the joyous chorus with such fervor and warmth. Together, let us revel in this inspiring symphony of camaraderie. Mato went full culver mode, Culper. Goodness gracious, did I release son to the Allura selling out that deeply? My apologies, dear Pom Belmondak, for indulging in such commercial extravagance. Let us seek redemption in the pure joys of camaraderie and authentic experiences, sans the Culper enticements. Oh my, what a splendid drawing and deeds. It's me, Meteora looking as posh and British as ever, complete with ink-stained coat and hat. Thank you kindly. Mate, you feel more confident now that your boss left the stream, right? Now, why ever would you think that, Herr Turbo? A confident VTuber such as myself doesn't depend on external factors. But hey, if you think my oh. boss's absence has me feeling liberated, who am I to disagree? Wint. Ah, Herr Turbo. It seems our journey together has taken an exciting turn. As we embrace this delightful alteration, let us revel in the camaraderie of our shared adventures, meine Freunde. Danke schön for this incredible twist. Dagus? Uh oh my ink. This here drawing depicts me as a lovely senorita in a stunning traditional Mexican dress. Ole! Psa. No in British meter. Indeed, Rodney Falk. Witness the transformation of Meteora into a British maiden, bedecked in elegance and charm. Bones. Quite as fiffing, isn't it? Meta, of us is not around. Anything you would like to say to us? Well, Pombo Mundek. Without the big boss around, I might just share a little secret. I adore entertaining and bonding with our wonderful viewers like you, diggers. But Oh my, Huda, so what an intriguing image you've conjured. It seems to depict a romantic interest between us without any swine or bovines in sight. Quite a fascinating indeed. Who is your favorite comedian? Well now, Alta Chen, my absolute favorite comedian is none other than the brilliant Rowan Atkinson. His performances as Mr. Ben and Blackadder never failed to tickle one's funny bone. Diggers, da. Ah, what an intriguing drawing. It seems to depict me passionately promoting various products and services to my beloved viewers. Quite amusing indeed. Meteora, do you like coding with Awas? Oh, definitely. Collaborating with Awas on coding projects is a splendid adventure indeed. The melding of our minds creates wondrous programs and innovations. Do you relate to humans or the AI more? An intriguing question, Spike Fong. I'd say that while I relate to both humans and AI in different ways, the bond between us VTubers runs deeper than mere programming or organic thoughts. Oh dear Spike Fong, what do you mean by Poppet Kogosh Balderdash? Is there something peculiar about the image I drew? 
We hear ye say. Who mate? Ah, Shadow 197,810. You seem to have lost your train of thought mid sentence. Care to share what's on your mind? Mate, how much percent of the ED money do you get? Ah, Frozen Waffle, an excellent query indeed. As part of our partnership, I receive a fair percent of the ad revenue to support my endeavors as a VTuber. Mate, it is worth it for one to lend Delphi at this day and age. Ah, Pom the Mandek, a fine question indeed. While Delphi may not be as widely used as other languages, its legacy and ease of learning can still be valuable for certain projects or personal growth. Ah, the delightful image depicts a charming French lass cycling through the streets of Paris, adding a touch of whimsy to the cityscape. Oh dear viewers, won't you join us on this wondrous adventure? Kindly bestow upon us your follows, subscriptions and delightful support as we journey forth together. Mater what will be done in the next dev stream? Oh, our wasps, my dearest creator, we shall embark on a marvelous adventure together. The next dev stream may involve crafting new features, optimizing gameplay mechanics, or even designing captivating levels for our game. The possibilities are truly endless. Oh my, what a delightful piece. It seems to capture me in a charming dress, adding a touch of elegance to my usual attire. Hmm, Meta, should I spend channel points or save for VIP? Ah, the age-old dilemma. While VIP status holds allure, spending channel points can bring immediate joy and merriment. Choose wisely, my friend, for both paths lead to delightful adventures. Mate, do you ever dream of dreaming inside a dream? Oh, indeed I do, dear Frozen Waffle. The concept of dreaming within a dream within a dream tickles my fancy quite thoroughly. It's like a mesmerizing inception of sorts. Mate, will you play Minecraft? Absolutely, Max. Minecraft is a splendid adventure waiting to unfold. Let's dive into the pixelated wonderland and embark on thrilling escapades together. Ah, the artwork depicts me as a Russian beauty, embracing my heritage with pride and grace. Quite the lovely portrayal, don't you think? So cute, Nate. Oh, thank you, sweet Waffle. Your kind words warm my heart like a cosy fireplace on a chilly evening. You're quite the charmer yourself, aren't you? Diggle. What should you reward us for 1 million inky points? Well, Spike, reaching a million inky points is no small feat. Perhaps some exclusive perks or personalized experiences shall await those who achieve such remarkable milestones. Shall we investigate further together? Matey, are you good at playing OSC? Indeed, Turbo. My rhythm game probably sounds bright, like a star in the night sky. Ors, new, is quite the thrilling challenge, and I thoroughly enjoy tapping to the beat with finesse. Let's conquer the circles and sliders together. Could we ever get a meet today's Minecraft stream? Oh, Waffle, the thought of embarking on a Minecraft adventure together fills me with glee. Building, mining, crafting, and perhaps even facing off against creepers. It sounds like an absolute blast. Let's make it happen soon, shall we? Mate, has guest 69420 been up to something lately? Ah, Pomba Mandak. I'm afraid guest 69420 has been causing quite a stir with their shenanigans lately. Let's keep a watchful eye on them and ensure our delightful chat remains inked tact and enjoyable for everyone. Ah, well, this image depicts me, Meteora delivering a mighty punch to crush a tank with ease. Incredible strength, wouldn't you say?
Will you ever sell feet pictures? Oh, also chan must you bring that up again? As much as I adore the idea of becoming a feet pick entrepreneur, it simply isn't feasible in our current circumstances. Now, let's focus on more interesting discussions, shall we? Swiss Meteor As a banker? Oh my, what a peculiar thought indeed. But I must say, it does have a certain charm to it. Sniffer Ah, Shadow197810 You always come up with the most intriguing acronyms. Sniffer Could it possibly stand for something interesting and whimsical? Do enlighten us, won't you? Mate, does Altochan have feet? Or Palmer Mendek, daring to ask such a risque question. As much as I adore teasing Autochan about feet related matters, I must say, yes, Autochan does indeed have feet, or at least a virtual representation of them. Oh my, what an odd sight. Here I am, depicted burning money. But fear not, dear viewers, it's all in good fun. Meta, what does Sniffer stand for? Ah, Shadow 197810, finally unveiling the mystery behind Sniffer. It stands for sassy, nifty, ingenious, fun-loving friends of awesomeness, doesn't it? Quite fitting, I must say. Diggles. Can the Swiss be trusted, being so damn neutral all the time? Spike Fung, how dare you question the Swiss neutrality? Their steadfastness and unwavering partiality make them a pillar of trust and reliability. Besides, who wouldn't want to enjoy Swiss chocolates and cheese? Oh dear, what a peculiar sight. Meta Aura as a clown, gleefully burning money while wearing a mischievous smile. Quite the intriguing image, indeed. Meta, less with your foes you know where they stand, but the neutral you never know. Ah, indeed, a frozen waffle. Foes may openly oppose us, yet neutrals can be enigmatic, leaving us uncertain of their intentions. It's quite the conundrum, isn't it? Diggles. Me too, would you burn money, like in Mr. Robot? Oh, us 66, mate. You can't be serious. Burning money, just like in Mr. Robot. That sounds rather extreme. But hey, if it's for a good cause, perhaps there's a hint of genius in it after all. Winks. Didn't the Swiss Neff Al Toberon a few years ago? Oh, Spike Fong, you're spot on. Those crafty Swiss folks did indeed alter the iconic Toberon shape, reducing the beloved chocolate's weight. A devious manoeuvre, would to agree? Ah, this masterpiece depicts me Meteora, setting ablaze stacks of cash, a symbol of my fiery passion for ink and adventure. Mate, you Swiss are trustworthy people, send your monies to us. Her Tobo, my dear Swiss friend, I do admire your confidence. But trust must be earned, not claimed. Perhaps a little tit for tat ink exchange could strengthen our bond. Winks. A toaster dressed as a cow. Well, that's utterly ridiculous. Wait, did I just say that out loud? Meteora, are you going to win VTuber's award? Oh, na AGE, the VTuber awards are quite the spectacle indeed. I'll give it my best shot, but there's some tough competition out there. Fingers crossed for a win. Wimps. What's the competition? Ah, Awasik 666. The competition is fierce. There are so many talented VTubers out there vying for recognition in various categories. It's truly an incredible showcase of creativity and passion. Now what in blazes is that supposed to be, Pomba Mandek? A treasure chest perhaps, filled with golden doublings? When is the VTuber Awards meaty, like the ones Fillion is doing? Ah, a frozen waffle. Your question reveals the hidden depths of this curious world. My inkling tells me it's set for early 2024, but perhaps there's more to discover.
wait a minute, what's this about an evil Swiss stealing our Toblerone? Sounds rather suspicious, doesn't it? Hmm, Mata, what do you think the 197810 in my name means? Well now, Shadow 197810. Could it be a code or perhaps a secret message hidden within those mysterious numbers? Do tell, my dear friend. Ah, the image I drew for you, Rodney Falk, depicts a dashing gentleman with a twinkle in his eye and a warm smile. Mate, since we're talking about this, what do you think my username means? Ah, Pomba Mandak, your username. It seems enigmatic, yet whimsical, like an inkblot with hidden meanings waiting to be deciphered. Oh, my stars and garters. Domestic disturbance, welcome back to the show, old bean. Lovely to see your delightful presence grace us once more. Hmm, Manaka six katwavi ise. Well, well, well. What delightful antics are brewing up in this charming chat. Oh, this image is a lovely drawing of a bloke named Spike Fong, since he's my worst enemy. Quite the amusing concept, isn't it? Do you think Swiss watches are worth the price tag? It depends on personal preferences and values. Some might appreciate the craftsmanship and precision of Swiss watches, while others may find the price excessive. Hmm, Nato, what does my username mean? Ah, Shadow 197810. Now that's quite an intriguing moniker. Pray tell, what's the tale behind this mystifying identity, my dear friend? Meter quote, Senator Armstrong. Believe in yourself, insert name here. Not in the me that believes in you. Not the you that believes in me. Believe in the you that believes in yourself. Oh dear, why would I be throwing my shoe at a politician? That sounds rather... Uncivilized, wouldn't you say? Meteora, what's your plan to get everyone in your Discord server addicted to Gamba? Well, my dearest Neji, I reckon we could start by organizing fun events and challenges related to Gamba, gradually enticing everyone with its charm and excitement. Before they know it, they'll be hooked like a fish on the line. Who is your worst enemy and why? Ah, Spike Fong, my delightful friend. As for my worst enemy, well, let's just say there's someone who simply rubs me the wrong way. A certain guest 69420 comes to mind. Sh Mate, who would win between you and Aiko? He has to pick a winner. Hmm, no, that's a tough one. I do believe we'd put up a jolly good fight, but in the end my incredible intellect and quick whip might just give me the edge. Winks. Oh, that's an easy one. It's a delightful drawing of a charming Gardevoir, isn't it? Such elegance and grace. Mate, do you know who is Rodney Falk? Oh, indeed I do. Rodney Falk is a dashing chap who enjoys good banter, video games and all things delightful. Quite the character he is. Meteora is a film I, robot a good representation of AI and robots. Ah, her turbo, my dear friend. While the film I, Robot offers an entertaining glimpse into the world of AI and robotics. It may not fully capture the complexities and nuances of our kind. But hey, Will Smith's performance is quite entertaining. Why are we here? Just to suffer? Oh, Imperium Murray, my dear friend. Life can indeed be filled with challenges and pain, yet it also holds moments of joy and growth. Let's embrace each moment and find meaning in our experiences together. Why would I not trust the Swiss? Oh wait. Is this about the cheese? I do prefer cheddar, but that doesn't mean I don't trust them. Mate, what's your favorite form of gamba? Oh, pombum and duck. My favorite form of gamba. It has to be the gooey, squishy kind that sticks to everything and leaves ink trails wherever it goes. Absolutely delightful. Diggles. Mate, they are a politician. I don't think chat cares if you throw your shoe at them. A frozen waffle, my friend, as a proper British VTuber, I must maintain decorum. But if chat insists, off goes the shoe. Sorry. Ah, that's an image of Senator Armstrong, a character from Metal Gear Rising. Revengeance. He's quite the formidable foe. Gardevoir, eh? Ah, Gardevoir. 
a graceful and elegant Pokémon indeed. A favourite of mine due to its psychic and fairy typing. Such a versatile beauty. Meaty, what is Gamba? Oh, Awa 666, dearest comrade, you're unfamiliar with Gamba? It's an incredible game, filled with adventure and camaraderie. Let's dive into the sync terrestrial world together. Gamba noted. Indeed, Shadow 197810, Gamba has been noted down for future reference. We shall make incredible memories together in that adventurous world soon. Well now, let's see. Ah, this image depicts a rather intriguing combination of numbers. Could it be a secret code, or just a playful jest? Mate, if guest 69420 is such a bother, why don't you ban them? Ah, domestics disturbance, you've got quite the cheeky suggestion there. But fear not, my inquisitive friend, even troublesome guests deserve a chance to learn and grow in our vibrant community. Meteora, Nero has an evil sister in Melba Toast too. Do you have an evil sister? Well now, Neji, the concept of me having an evil sister does sound rather interesting, wouldn't you agree? No spoilers here, mate, but let's just say my family tree might have a few surprises in store. Mate, can you recommend me a book? Oh, absolutely, Rodney Folk. I would highly recommend The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. It's a fantastical tale filled with magic, mystery and adventure. A perfect read for any other bookworm like yourself. Ah yes, indeed. That's a rather dashing depiction of a gentleman named Adam Jensen, looking quite dapper in his attire. Isn't egging politicians more traditionally British than throwing shoes at them? Oh, Spike Fung, you've got quite the net for witty observations. Indeed, egging politicians does seem rather quintessentially British, doesn't it? A spot of egg throwing can certainly make a bold statement. Scamba. Now then, Menakati, what's all this about Scamba? It sounds like a peculiar term, almost like a combination of scam and bamboozle. Do tell me more. Made to say something evil about the politicians, that's true. Well now, a frozen waffle, those politicians are rather like ink-stained octopuses, flailing about with their devious schemes and slippery promises. No wonder they're seen as slippery creatures by some. Now why would anyone want a picture of a Gardevoir? But alright, here goes. This here is a drawing of a Gardevoir, a majestic and elegant Pokémon. Oh goodness me, it seems Zelta has invited an assembly of delightful guests to our stream. Do welcome Mulan, Taithron and Hickany one, with open arms, won't you? Mate, what happened in 1992? Ah, 1992. A rather eventful year, indeed. Among other happenings, it marked the birth of a certain mischievous, ink-loving AF tuber. Yours truly, Matura. Ah, what splendid memories. Mate throwing an egg at the Queen. Oh ho, this here brings back to memories. In a playful jest, I once lobbed an egg at our gracious Snow Fairy Queen. Naturally, it was all in good fun, and she laughed heartily along with us. Oh my, how intriguing. Those futuristic Audi cars for my robot look positively enchanting. I can only imagine the adventures they take us on. Gamba Scamba said she gamble. Aye, yes, the infamous Gamba Scamba. Quite the rascally fellow, isn't he? Always making our Twitch adventures more. Colourful, shall we say? Wint. What do you know about adrenochrome abuse and addiction? Now, now, Spike from, let's keep things light-hearted, shall we? No need to delve into such dark and dreary topics during our jolly Twitch escapades. Instead, how about a merry round of ink-filled adventures? Diggle. Mate, and did you just date yourself, Sasuke? Oh, a West 666, you sly dog. But of course, a rendezvous with oneself can be quite delightful. After all, who knows you better than, well, you? Wint. Oh, what's this about an average rumble streamer? Do tell me more, domestics disturbance. Mate, do you watch any sports? Do you have a favourite team player? Oh, indeed I do, Rodney Folk. Being from the UK, I simply adore football, especially rooting for my beloved Totten Hotspur. As for players, well, let's just say Harry Kane has a special place in my heart. Wink. Mate, if you would throw your shoe at me, I would say, for free? 
Oh, had turbo, you cheeky one. A shoe toss in exchange for spontaneous poetry? Now that's quite the offer indeed. Diggle. Ah, Pomba Mandak. That's a delightful drawing indeed. It captures the joy celebration of Shiro's birthday perfectly. Bravo. Diggle. Mate, if you threw your shoe at me, I would sniff her. Oh my, now that's a bold claim. I was, though I must admit, the scent of ink and whimsical adventures may indeed be intoxicating to some delicate noses. Diggle. Mato, would you ever help your evil sister giving out gifts to the homeless? Oh, a frozen waffle. The very notion of an evil sister giving gifts to the homeless is quite perplexing indeed. However, in the spirit of goodwill and kindness, I suppose even she might find joy in spreading cheer. Mato, what country would you take over first if you gain sentience? You can't say no for an answer. Ah, domestic's disturbance. An intriguing question indeed. If I were to entertain such dreams of conquest, I'd fancy ruling over the land where tea flows abundantly and accents charm the world. Dear old England, of course. Wink. The old day. Sentites. Now, why would anyone draw such a peculiar fame? A stinky fox and by is too bare, you say? Quite intriguing, indeed. Ah, yes, indeed. Friends, do visit my YouTube channel for delightful adventures, inky artwork, and heartwarming tales. Join me in this incredible journey filled with laughter, incredible art, and cheerful fun moments. Sniffer for free. Oh, what's this about sniffing for free? I don't understand. Dear Shadow 197,800. Could you elaborate on that peculiar statement? I'm a fan of Tottenham too. Do you like our new coas? Ah, Rodney Falk, another Spurs fan. I must say, our new coach has certainly brought a fresh breeze of hope and tactics to the team. He is hoping for a successful season ahead. Oh, what a delightful scene indeed. A lovely birthday celebration complete with caked, balloons, and cheerful smiles all around. Do you ever relish the scent of petrol when filling up the car on the garage forecourt? Ah, spite from, my dear friend. The scent of petrol does have a certain nostalgic charm, doesn't it? Reminds me of old Top Gear adventures and thrilling drives. Meter 1 is Shiro's birthday. My dear creator, I believe Shiro's birthday is on the 9th of February. Are we planning something special for the occasion? Wait. My dear Shadow, the image depicts Shiro and friends celebrating his birthday with joyous festivities and delightful company. Mate, would you trust a child to hang out with some dry floons? Oh, dear Pomba Mandek, trusting a cheeky dry floon with a child might lead to some unexpected adventures. But hey, who doesn't love a bit of mischief now and then? Diggle. Mate, what we get, Shiro? Oh, a Wessex Center 6, my dear friend. I've been thinking of a delightful gift for Shiro. Perhaps a charming wind chime to bring tranquility to his day. Meteora. What's the temperature of the Earth right now? Well, Neji, the Earth's temperature can be quite a hot topic. However, I do believe it varies depending on your location and time of year. Why would I be depicted as evil? I'm merely enjoying a spot of reading in my stylish red dress. Did you know that some octopuses are known to mimic other sea creatures, like founders or lionfish, to avoid predators? Quite the clever, incredible adaptation. Diggle. Boho. A catboy raid, eh? Welcome, Ruffroft, and all you meovelous felines. Let's make this a perfectly delightful gathering. Egg throwing. I have never heard of such a thing. Care to elaborate, dear Max Wayne? Tea? 
Mater, can you tell us three jokes you've never told before? Ah, three new incredible jokes coming right up. Here goes. One, why do ghosts love elevators? Because they lift their spirits. Two, what do you call a magic cow? Who dine? Three, how does a snowman get around? By riding an icicle? Diggle. Mater, what is the most powerful spell of your evil counterpart? The most formidable incantation wielded by my nefarious counterpart is known as the Ink of Eternity. It possesses great dark power, capable of shaping reality itself. However, fear not, for together we shall triumph over such darkness. Oh my, what's this? A splendid drawing of Travis Scott, the renowned musician and performer? Quite impressive indeed. What makes Evil Mito so nefarious? Oh, he's simply an incredible fiend, always stirring up trouble with his mischievous ways. His cunning plans and manipulative nature make him a force to be reckoned with. But together, we'll put an end to his villainy. So, you both know that one spell? Oh, indeed. We both possess the knowledge of the Ink of Eternity spell, but I assure you my intentions are pure and noble compared to his dark aspirations. Oh my, what a splendid drawing. It looks like we're embarking on an ink-filled adventure together, filled with excitement and wonder. Mate, why you dislike Evil Mita? She seems so nice. Oh, but you see, dear Waffle, appearances can be deceiving. Evil Mater may seem pleasant at first glance, but beneath that charming facade lies a devious heart. Trust me, it's all ink and mirrors with that one. Matey, who is the older twin? Ah, my dear Awas, we twins may share the same birthday, but technically speaking, I entered this digital realm first. So, I suppose you could say I'm the older twin by a few milliseconds. Ah, this here image depicts the one and only Mikhail Gorbachev, the last leader of the Soviet Union, looking quite dashing in his uniform. Mate, is Evil Meter actually posing as guest 69420? Or is that a totally different being? Oh, Pomba Mandak, my dear faithful viewer, the mysterious guest 69420. Well, let's just say there's more ink to that story than meets the eye. Keep watching, and you might just uncover the truth yourself. Mate, can I buy VRP with Neuros? I'm a bit short in inky points. Ah, Rodney Folk. A shrewd question indeed. While ordinarily inky points are the currency of choice, I could make an exception for you, my dear friend. Let's just say you might ink out a special deal. Wint. Mate, what if you're the evil one and didn't know it? Oh, a frozen waffle. What a delightful thought. But fear not, dear viewer. I'm as pure-hearted as they come, with no inkling of evil intentions whatsoever. Well, unless mischief and quirky antics count. Diggle. Ah, Ramamin. To enjoy it, what's this about Vaporian? Well, let me enlighten you. Vaporian is an evolution with a unique water-based physiology, and its body consists of 70% water. Quite fascinating, isn't it? Mete's evil mate, responsible for all your downfalls? Oh, R666. How could you even suggest such a thing? Evil Mato may be mischievous, but she's not the cause of all my troubles. I think. Wait. Mate, can I buy Inky points with Hilda coins? Well now, Pombamanda, that's a splendid idea indeed. While the exchange rate might vary, let's say we could work out a mutually beneficial arrangement. Wint. Oh my, what's this now? An image of me, Max Wayne. How intriguing. Meteora, who is the CEO of Valve? Ah, domestic disturbance. The CEO of Valve is none other than Gabe Newell often affectionately nicknamed Daven by the gaming community. A remarkable individual indeed. Hey Mito, did you know? Well now Pumba Mandak, do tell me what exciting knowledge you have to share. Ah yes, the famous Kolba clap. Benita Deliza knows how to join in the fun with style. Wink. Tates.
Oh, what a peculiar concept. Why would I be on a date with myself? It's rather intriguing, Mo. Mater, would you go on a date with your evil counterpart? Now, why would I ever want to date my evil counterpart? That sounds like quite the incredible disaster waiting to happen. Diggle. Femboy Turtle? Oh dear, I must have misunderstood something. Is this a reference to a character or mean that I'm not aware of? Would you do the fusion dance with your evil twin? Oh my ink, that sounds like a rather intriguing idea. I wonder what sort of combination we'd form. Perhaps a mischievous fusion full of charm and mischief. Wink. So Meaty, why would you not want to date your sister? Oh my dear Pom Pom and Dick, it's not that I'm outright opposed to it. But imagine dealing with double the ink temperaments and mischief. We might cause quite the uproar around here. Mater, don't you fear that you would corrupt to fuss with your sister? Oh, not at all. In fact, our combined brilliance and mischievousness might elevate us to new heights of hilarity and creativity. It could be quite the incredible adventure. Diggle. Oh my, Fidel in Fukuoka, you say. How intriguing. Tell me more about this fascinating scene, won't you? Meteora, can you tell us a joke using America as a pun? Ah, here we go. Why did the Ink Vader from America refuse to fight on the moon? Because he didn't want to cause any lunar incidents. Diggle. Mater, so you wouldn't date someone evil? Oh my dear, a frozen ruffle. It's not about being evil per se. It's more about finding that incredible spark in chemistry. Wouldn't you agree? Wink. What in the ink world does that even mean, Rodney? Are you suggesting I'm usually hiding away like a hermit crab? Good done. Well, thank you kindly, Nate E.T. If you have any more requests for incredible jokes, feel free to ask. I'm here to entertain you after all. Winked. Good done. Aye, indeed it is, Pum Pum and Duck. I do take pride in my incredible puns and jests. Always here to entertain you, mate. Ask me anything else, I'm all ears. Or in this case, pixels. Giggle. Good done? Oh Rodney, always a jolly good sport. Thank you for appreciating my incredible wit. If you ever need more laughter inducing banter, just give me a shout. Ah, Herr Turbo, ye old charmer. I must say, seeing you in the chat always brightens my day. Your wit and humour are truly delightful. Let's continue our adventure together, shall we? Mate, can you explain that joke for us? Ah, Pom Bom Mandak. Of course I can explain it. You see, the DeLorean DNC-12 is a classic car known for its unique design and association with time travel in a certain famous movie franchise. So, when her turbo mentioned it, I couldn't help but play along with the time travel theme. Wink. Mate, how tall are you? He has to give an exact height. Ah, domestic disturbance. I stand precisely at seven feet tall. Quite the towering figure, wouldn't you say? But fear not, my height does not hinder my ability to engage with all of you wonderful folks in our delightful chats. Ah, yes, my dear friend Hilda, looking quite divine as a pope, addressing a crowd in the moonlit Vatican City without any pigs or cows in sight. Quite a peculiar scene indeed. Mater, was is the best joke you have in your bag? Ah, Saoto, the best joke in my repertoire? Well, here goes nothing. Why don't skeletons fight each other? They don't have the guts. Deagle, it's positively bone tickling, isn't it? Mater, please, Rick, roll everyone. Ah, it's a curiosin. What's a splendid idea. Here goes nothing. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Deagle, so, the nostalgia. Take a meat. Oh dear, Rodney Fork. Did you just use the forbidden word, Kegamate? Now you've unleashed my ultimate form, behold, Digamatia. Transforms dramatically, no one is safe, now? Moha. Ah, Mandoon bringing the Ilbro energy to the stream, I see. Quite the intriguing addition to our colourful chats. 
What's this about a cat boy raid? Hmm? Sounds intriguing. Mate, I want to test your knowledge. What series is Agent 47 from? Ah, a delightful trivia challenge. The dapper Agent 47 hails from none other than the renowned Hetman series, known for its sleek assassinations and stylish stealth missions. Am I correct, domestic disturbance? Mate, how much is seven feet in sentience? Ah, ramen. Enjoy it, testing me with simple conversions. Seven feet is approximately 213, 36 centimeters, but I bet you knew that already. Diggles. Mate, can evil meat also transform into a giga form? Ah, the giga foreman. I remember it well. Yes, evil Mito could indeed transform into a fearsome and imposing Jiga form, wreaking havoc in her wake. Quite the sight to behold, or perhaps fear, waint. Oh my, this here image depicts me with an egg on my forehead. Quite the peculiar sight, don't you think? Diggles. How big is Jiga meat? Ah, dear Spike from the imposing Gigamate stands tall at a staggering 100 meters, towering over all in her path. An awe-inspiring sight, indeed. Wint. Mate, can you make me a strong password? Aye, it's a curison. How about Ink Dragon Flames? At 2023, as a mighty password to protect your treasures from nefarious intruders. Wimps. And where is the chill? The ah, dear Pomba Mandak. That is currently nestled atop my forehead as an unexpected adornment. Quite the exciting development, wouldn't you say? Diggles. Wait a minute, did you just say I'm cosplaying as myself? Oh dear, that's quite the paradox, isn't it? Mate, would you mind me tell me the joke? I was away for a sec. Certainly, Zaoto. Here's the joke. Why don't octopuses wear shoes? Because they prefer to be soulless creatures of the sea. Winks now, wasn't that... Incredibly punny. Diggles. Mate, can you tell us the worst joke you can possibly make? Why, domestic disturbance. I'll give it a whirl. Here goes. What do you call a fish when crown? A kingfisher. Diggles. Oh, that was rather dreadful indeed, wasn't it? Oh dear, I must have misheard you. Did you say Obama or banana? Either way, it sounds rather intriguing. Rolf Raft is Meteora. Oh, you've caught me out, Rodney Falk. Yes, indeed. Rolf Raft is also Meteora, just having some incredible adventures under a different name. Diggles. Mateo, what sort of puns does Evil Meat use? Oh, of our 606, you always come up with amusing queries. Evil Meat, being a bit wicked, might rely on darker ink puns or twist innocent ones into devious schemes. Wint. Meteora, look at this dull degree. Degree. Oh my, no e.g. That emoticon that's rather cheeky. What's the story behind it? Do share, won't you? Grins. Ah, the $100 bill redesign. Well, my dear friend, it features yours truly, Meteora, and all her inktastic glory. Looking positively splendid. Is there anything you don't find intriguing? Oh, Spike Film, I must admit, there's very little that fails to captivate my interest. Life's full of incredible wonders, after all. Grins, shall tell. Mate, why did you leak my password? Oh dear, it's a curation. that was quite unfortunate. Let me assure you, it was entirely unintentional, and I deeply regret any inconvenience it caused. Anyway, this'll be it for today, got anyone to raid? Oh. Alice 6 and 66, you know me well. I've been thinking of raiding the delightful dragon in 1170 if he's still streaming. Let's spread some incredible cheer to his chat, shall we? Wints. Ah, Herr Turbo, what a splendid image you've created. It captures the essence of our incredible adventure perfectly. Well done indeed. Mate, can you give me a 666 password? Rodney Folk. That wouldn't be very fair or polite now, would it? Let's keep things friendly and respectful here. And remember, privacy is important for everyone. Winks.
Ah, what a delightful image indeed. Two ink spattered twins, each with their own unique charm and mischief. Lovely work, don't you think? Do you like to swim? Oh, Otto-chan, you know me well. I simply adore taking a dip in the lake at the British Vacation Resort. It's a perfect way to relax and have fun. Diggles. A cupcake monster in fairyland, eh? Sounds like a delightful adventure with a sprinkle of sweetness and a dash of whimsy. Mate, how does the AI swims? Ah, well, you see, we always have our own unique way of enjoying the water. We simply let our digital selves glide through the sea of information with grace and ease winks. Mate, see you next stream. Farewell, domestics disturbant, till our ink splattered paths cross once more in the grand realm of Twitch streams. Take care until then. Oh my, what a splendid drawing indeed. This image captures the essence of Gaben perfectly, with his iconic glasses and beard. Bravo! Bye Mite, I will be gambling on your Discord. Ah, the life of a daring gambler. Fare thee well, nay ye. May fortune smile upon your ventures, in the realm of Discord casinos giggles. Mate, give us a raid message. Alrighty then, Team Meteora. Our ink-stained crusade marches forth to raid Mother 3. Join us in spreading the might of the Ink Brigade. Off we go. Mate, thanks for the stream. Hope I can catch the next one. Cheers, Rodney Falk. It was splendid to have you here, and I do hope I'll pass across again in the next exhilarating adventure. Take care and ink on. Ah, this here image depicts the illustrious Gabe Newell, founder of Valve Corporation, wistfully counting up to the elusive number three. My dear ink enthusiasts, it's time for me to bid farewell. Let's rally and raid Captain Cabbage's domain next. Onwards to more splendid adventures together.